team on the 20-year anniversary. Of course, the closer on that team, Keith Folk, was uh, lights out that entire season and postseason run. Our guy Joe Weil, who you hear on the uh, pre- and post-game shows throughout the season, he had a chance to catch up with Keith Folk, and here's that. Keith, I'll start with this. It's been 20 years since that 2004 World Series championship. I'm going to steal a line from the one and only Joe Castiglione. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's, uh, well, I can, yeah, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's crazy how fast 20 years goes, but, you know, we're really excited to get back there, see the old teammates and, you know, be able to share and, uh, you know, sharing this memory with the, with the fans and uh, it's always nice to keep it alive. You know, it's, it's nice to be remembered. And I want to hit on the fans because every championship in the record books counts the same, but this one just means so much more to the region. <laughs> And, you know, you, you think about it being 20 years ago and it still means so much to the people here. So what does it mean to you that people are overcome with joy seeing the video of you tossing the ball to Doug Mankiewicz or you, you know, jumping into the arms of Jason Veritek? Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, obviously it was my really my one and only championship. So that's, you know, that, I hold that in pretty high regard. But, uh, you know, like we were talking about off air, like you don't play in Boston and not realize what you're doing. Um, you know, and I was fortunate enough to play on the 04 team after, especially after 03, after everything went down. It's, it's, it, I mean, it, it's probably, it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. So it's one of those things that, you know, it was so, we were so proud to be able to win that for the people, you know, for the fans. Uh, just get that monkey off the back if you want to say that, and you know, and, and it's one of those things. It's like you, you show the people that you know what Boston can have winners. You know, it doesn't have to be always a second place team behind other big cities. They can bring championships, you know, and and it's you know, it's and I, I think that it's also part of it says a lot about the ownership group and the management at the time. You know, they brought in the players that they needed to 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 win the team or win the you know win the championship. You hit on the year prior, 2003, and I think people might forget this, but you obviously pitched against the Red Sox in that 2003 postseason with the Oakland Athletics. It was an incredible five-game series. What were your impressions of the Red Sox at that point after that series? And did you think when you went into the offseason that it could be a good match for you? Yeah, well, you know, obviously playing in Boston, it doesn't matter, you know, because I'd played there for years before, but playing there even during the regular season, it's always a playoff atmosphere. It was back then, you know, and you get into the playoffs and, um, you know, when I was with Oakland, we had them right where we wanted them. You know, we were up 2-0 and, and it's, uh, you know, things didn't work out for for me and my my green team. But, um, you know, I think what it did is when I look back on it now, me losing, you know, the Oakland losing in 03 helped start that trend of like, okay, hey, we can do this, right? And after, uh, you know, Boston beat us, we went on and I got home and I remember my dad telling me, he goes, he goes, I bet you Boston, you know, after what happened in the next season or the next series, the, you know, with the Yankees, it's like, he goes, hey, I bet you Boston's going to call. And I'm like, no way, you know, I'm not going to play up in the Northeast. It's, you know, then it probably was like two or three days later, my agent called, he goes, hey, I think, uh, you know, I think Boston may be one of those things, you know, because he knew I wanted to, I love being down south where it's hot. And, you know, he says, hey, you know, I think Boston may come knock. And I'm like, huh, interesting. So, you know, it's a, it was a change of events, but, you know, it was something that was well worth it. And the rest, of course, is history. We're chatting with Red Sox legend Keith Folk as the Red Sox get set to take on the Angels today. First pitch coming up at 4.07 here in the series finale. Keith, people remember that final out the most from the 2004 World Series, but I want to hit on your overall numbers from the 2004 postseason run. You pitched in 11 games. You had 19 strikeouts in 14 innings pitched, and you allowed just one run, so you had no point six four ERA. What was it about that postseason overall that had you so locked in? Uh, 03 had a lot to do with it. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where, um, unfortunately, my, you know, when once we got the boss in 03, my back was killing me. I was in some pretty serious pain. But it, it's just, it's the failure that helped. It makes you wiser, right? And that's what I kind of touched on a minute ago, even for the Red Sox in 03, right? Their failure against the Yankees, right? It, it's what they did against the Oakland. It's like it, you put that, you store that in the back of the head. You're like, hey, okay, you know what? We can do this, right? You know, we came back and beat Oakland in three, you know, and that's, you have that wisdom. And in 04, 
Yeah, you know, it's like, you know what? I don't, I'm not going to fail again. I mean, I was so locked in, you know, I had other stuff going off the field, but it was, I was so locked in, like every pitch was, you know, literally the most important pitch in my life. And I think that's how a lot of the guys felt, you know, it's like, Hey, this isn't going to happen again. We dug ourselves a huge hole. It happened in a blink of an eye, but you know what? Screw it. Let's fight back and let's go out and win the next inning, win the next inning, you know, and everybody went out there and, you know, the kind the, the tide changed a little bit. We started getting a few breaks and, you know, just ran it off. And it's amazing too, because you go two and two thirds innings in game four, David Ortiz hits the walk-off home run game five, you toss an inning in a third, David Ortiz, another walk-off game six at Yankee stadium. You strike out Tony Clark on a three, two fastball. At this point you had tossed five innings in three games in about a 48 hour span. How is your body feeling going into game seven at Yankee Stadium <laughs> with the series dot at three? Now it was uh you know, we were t- at that point I, I was I was dragging a little bit, you know, and I think it showed in that game six because I think I I think I walked two people, maybe, you know, so it was it was kind of um you know, it was kind of crunch time, but you know, it's one of those things again, you you kind of reach down and you dig from that, that experience. It's like comes a point where it's gonna be me or you right and um you know it's like screw it let's go it's you know i'm going after him and you know he hit a double off me earlier in the uh earlier in the series and so you know it's like i'm I'm keeping that in mind and you know i know they're always kind of sitting on change up a little bit you know it's like reach back and like all right this is all i got left you know the tape the the needle's bobbing on e this is all i got left and you just kind of let that fastball ride and got to buy him and i was pretty happy afterwards how nice was it to kick back and relax in game seven? Uh, well, eventually, you know, that got to, you know, that was, that was really nice. Um, you know, the boys came out there and they jumped on quick and it, it definitely took the, you know, it took some of the edge off, but it's like, again, you know, this is Yankees, Red Sox, anything can happen. And it's not like it was a 15 run lead. I mean, we were only up by, you know, a handful of runs and especially in that stadium, things can change quick. Uh, so it wasn't, you know, really didn't really didn't turn it off until kind of late in the game. And once Embry went in, it's like, you know, all right, we're, you know, this is pretty secure. But, you know, the first thing I did when I ran in after that game is I went and found Tito and I'm like, that should have been me in the game. <laughs> and he's like, he goes, he goes, don't worry about it, son. We'll, you'll get your shot. <laughs> and you certainly did. And everybody can remember that grounder right back to you. Uh, off the bat of Edgar Renteria, we're chatting with 2004 Red Sox champion Keith Folk as the Red Sox get set to take on the Angels in the final game of a three-game set coming up at 4.07 today. You know, your career is fascinating, and, and I remember watching you pitch with that changeup and how dominant a pitch that was. And I've heard you talk about it before, about your time with the White Sox and how important those years were in refining that pitch to be one of the best pitches in all of baseball among relief pitchers. How did that time with the White Sox, those early years, help you become the pitcher that you ended up becoming, being an all-star and, of course, being the closer on the mound for the Red Sox, first championship in 86 years? Well, once I got traded to the White Sox, you know, they, when I was, my little time with the Giants, they, they really wanted to tinker with me quite a bit, even when I was in the big leagues. And it really kind of it put me on the wrong path. But once I got to the White Sox, you know, they they were a much more relaxed organization. Uh, they were in the rebuilding phase, so there wasn't a whole lot of pressure. But that internal pressure is like, all right, I'm going to get back to who I was. Um, you know, I, I came out and finished pretty good in 97, 98, had a decent year, had some shoulder issues. I went and got uh, my shoulder cleaned up in 98. I came back in 99 and – probably one of the best spells of my life where it was almost, uh, well, it was pretty fun to pitch because I was just so good. I was so locked in and, you know, Chicago, you know, they had a lot of faith in me. So it's like, you know, I was pitching long relief. I was pitching short, ended up going to closing. But as a young player, I got the opportunity. Uh, I had the self-confidence. The team had confidence in me. So it was one of those things where it's like, you know what? When you feel wanted, it, it's it's a great place to be. You know, they let me get out there and do my thing. And, you know, fortunately, I was able to take good, take advantage of that. Before we let you go, I wanted to ask you about Tim Wakefield and Stacey Wakefield. They're going to be honored before yeah. the game. And, you know, obviously, Tim was such a big part of that 2004 team. Stacey's so a part of the community. Two people that were so a part of this Boston community. When you think of them, what, what comes to mind? 
oh, all right, hang on. Uh, let's see if I can get through this. <laughs> well, Wakefield, obviously, he was, you know, he was the backbone of that team for such a long time. Um, you know, it, it sucks, you know, life sucks sometimes. And, and sometimes good people get, uh, you know, get hurt. But, you know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's tough and he'll be remembered and, you know, what he did for the team and what he did for the organization is, is uh, above the top and, and to be able to have a wife by his side to help him do that. You know, I just, I feel horrible for the family, but you know, he's, he'll be in our memory and, you know, we'll move on. And obviously he was so, it's such a big part of that team, Stacy, a part of the community as well. Final thing for you, just being back with your teammates that for that, that home opener, what are you looking most forward to for that time uh, with the 04 teammates being back together at Fenway 20 years since the championship? Yeah, it'll be, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be one of those things like some of these guys, you know, like, you know, through, through the Red Sox, you see a lot of these guys are always back at the ballpark, but having the whole group back together and, you know, the 10 year was cool, but all of a sudden it's like, you know, now most of us are in our late forties, fifties, you know, it's one of those things where it's, uh, it'll be good just to sit around and tell stories and see faces and, you know, and just, uh, you know, just, just be around the boys again. Yeah. That's one of the things you miss when you retire is, is the locker room camaraderie, you know, those are your brothers and, uh, you know, it's, it's tough to kind of be set out in the world and like, damn, I'm alone. I don't have those kinds of friends, teammates out in the regular world. You know, people just don't understand. And you so. guys will be remembered for, for the test of uh, the rest of time, especially for what you did for this region. And uh, it's so great to talk to you, Keith. Thank you so much for the time. Looking forward to seeing you and the rest of the group uh, at Fenway on Tuesday. Should be a lot of fun. Ah, looking forward to it. I can't wait to see my see the fans be around them. All right, there you go. That was Joe Weil talking with uh, former Red Sox closer Keith Folk, part of that 04 team that will be uh, honored coming up Tuesday on opening day at Fenway Park. All right, we will hear from Red Sox manager Alex Cora coming up next on the Mass Mutual pregame show. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. Oh, not this song again. Hello, Sarah. Real quick, if you had to choose, would you listen to elevator music all day or deal with payroll compliance? Oh, payroll compliance for sure. Wait, really? Staying compliant is so much easier with Gusto. Gusto automatically calculates my taxes and files with all the right agencies for me. That actually sounds great. Hold up. Can Gusto help my small business with compliance, too? Of course they can. Choose payroll compliance without the ups and downs. Visit Gusto.com slash streaming to sign up for free. The number one selling product of its kind with over 20 years of research and innovation. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A, is a prescription medicine used to temporarily make moderate to severe frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead lines look better in adults. Effects of Botox Cosmetic may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness may be a sign of a life-threatening condition. Patients with these conditions before injection are at highest risk. Don't receive Botox Cosmetic if you have a skin infection. Side effects may include allergic reactions, injection site pain, headache, eyebrow and eyelid drooping and eyelid swelling. Allergic reactions can include rash, welts, asthma symptoms, and dizziness. Tell your doctor about medical history, muscle or nerve conditions including ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, myasthenia gravis, or Lambert Eaton syndrome and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. For full safety information, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. See for yourself at BotoxCosmetic.com. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. The Namco Pool Splash It to Spring sales event is here. Transform your backyard into a budget-friendly oasis with a remarkable selection of above-ground pools, hot tubs, and patio furniture. Take advantage of pools up to 20% off, jacuzzis up to $1,000 off, and patios up to 56% off. Get in now for the Namco Pool Splash It to Spring sale going on now through the 22nd. Namco Pool, the most trusted pool company for your community. Namcopool.com.
When it comes to your home, we know there are plenty of reasons to protect what's inside. Your family, your photographs, your peace of mind after a long day. At Marshall, we know that protection starts on the outside. We specialize in roofing, siding, and window installations, so we can be sure these critical pieces work well together for long-lasting beauty. Plus, with our easy payment options, investing in your home is more affordable than you may think. So when it comes to your home, protect what's inside with Marshall, your local roofing, siding, and window people. Adoption of teens from foster care is a topic not enough people know about, and we're here to change that. I'm April Dinwiddie, host of the new podcast, Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Each episode brings you compelling real-life adoption stories told by the families that live them with commentary from experts. Visit adoptuskids.org slash podcast or subscribe to Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families and the Ad Council. Your green lawn starts right now at Rocky's Ace Hardware with Scott's Four Step. One lush green lawn, four easy steps. Spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Get to Rocky's now for instant savings up to $75 off the full program. Scott's Four Step gives you fertilizer, insect and rodent control, and protection against weeds, fungus, and disease. Buy now at Rocky's and save big for the season. Rocky's also has mulch, soil, rakes, shovels, and tools. Rocky's Ace Hardware, your home for hardware and more. Find your store at rockies.com. Um... The Namco Pool Splash It to Spring sales event is here. Transform your backyard into a budget-friendly oasis with a remarkable selection of above-ground pools, hot tubs, and patio furniture. Take advantage of pools up to 20% off, jacuzzis up to $1,000 off, and patios up to 56% off. Get in now for the Namco Pool Splash It to Spring sale going on now through the 22nd. Namco Pool, the most trusted pool company for your community. Namcopool.com. This is Matt Spiegel, and we are off and running with Season 2 of the PBP, Voices of Baseball. The very best play-by-play voices in the game talk about their craft. Hear guests like Joe Davis explain the thought process during baseball's biggest games. you got to widen the lens. What does this home run mean? The swing of his life! Incredible broadcasters sharing great stories from your favorite teams with new episodes weekly. Find us on the Odyssey app or wherever you find podcasts. Weekdays, 2 to 6. Now back to the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI, Red Sox Radio Network. This is the Mass Mutual Red Sox pregame show. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. Before every game, we interview Red Sox manager Alex Cora, and it's brought to you by your New England Ford dealers. Now during Truck Month, get a great deal on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 47 years straight, an official truck of your Boston Red Sox. With the manager, Alex Cora, opener. Leg three of this marathon West Coast road trip. And uh, Alex, you know, it's, you can sort of look at this in two ways. The first is it's great to have an off day after five and two to start the season. But I'm sure knowing you that you want to keep your foot on the gas and keep this young group engaged. But it sure is nice, isn't it? Starting out West the way you have. Oh, it's, it's better than 19, I tell you that. You know, <laughs> it's a different feeling coming into the last series of the road trip. And, uh, the guys are playing well. You know, uh, we, we didn't play a, a great baseball game on, on Sunday, but we, we ended up winning, and that's that's what it's all about, right? You know, the, you got to enjoy the, the big league Ws because they're hard to, to, to get. And, uh, you know, um, we're pitching well. We're playing good defense. Uh, I think, uh, of course, Sunday was, was an off day, but Baldi played an outstanding game at second base, uh, and we feel good. You know, uh, I think the, the off day came in a perfect day, you know, like kind of like, reset right uh it's been it's been hard you know but uh, at the same time it's been fun and uh, just come here and, and play a good series win the series and move on you think about all of these things about baseball in a way that very few people do it, it do you think there's something to like nick has lost six one nothing starts in his career the other day again he gets a run it holds up it, what is that? You played this game forever. Is it just random, or do you believe that sometimes there might be some meaning to something like that? Uh, I mean, it's, it's weird, right? But uh, uh, when you're pitching on the top of the rotation, you're going to face good pitching, yeah. right? Yeah. Or the hitters don't like him, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but uh, one thing about Nick, you know, uh, even with marginal stuff on Sunday, yeah. he competed, and uh, he gave us a chance to win, and if we get... Those outings, you know, uh, 
I don't know, 22 out of 30, we're going to be in a good spot. Sedan does it again. I mean, he makes a great catch, and he almost makes one that was better than any I've ever seen. How fun is it for you to watch him literally change games in the outfield? Yeah, I think the defense is, is night and day compared to last year. And like I said, you know, it's, it's nothing against the guys that we had last year. You know, uh, I think Duvi did an outstanding job in center field when he played. Jaron did his best in center field. Kike was playing out of position. So uh, we had a lot of moving parts, and uh, it just didn't work out. And this year, the emphasis was defense from, from day one. And the reason he's here is because he's a game changer in center field. Uh, Trevor, of course, at short, he's been going well. Uh, just like offense, he's contagious, right? And uh, Baldi's doing an amazing job at second. Rafi's been solid, Cassis too. And uh, there's an attitude, you know, uh, defensively. And uh, it starts up the middle. And we got a bunch of athletes. And, you know, I think Sedan is one of those that uh, is a joy to watch. And uh, I, I hate to say it, but I'm taking him for granted. You know, like they hit it to center. I expect him to catch it, you know. So uh, I know he expects the same thing, too. And I'm glad that he's here with us. An incredible series for your leadoff hitter. I mean, he gets on base 11 times, nine hits, eight of them to left field. Is that when he is at his most locked in? Yeah. Um, Foxy made a comment after the series. He said, that's who he is. Yeah. And uh, I think we got caught up on hitting the ball in the air, hitting for power, uh, especially in the in 2020 when he was in uh, Pawtucket, right, uh, facing the same competition over and over, over again. And, uh, yeah, he made some swing changes that were good. But I think, you know, when he uses the whole field, he becomes very dangerous. And, uh, you know, for him, uh, you know, the singles are doubles. Yeah. That's the way we see it, you know. So just stay the course, uh, use the whole field. The homers will come. The doubles will come. But uh, I'm glad that he's our leadoff guy, and uh, we're having fun with it. On the other side, you know, Rafi leaves camp and starts the year in Seattle. As always, when he is able to wait and go the other way, he's at his best. Is it the shoulder for him, you think, or is he just not quite the same after a couple of days off as the way he started the year? I read something that he's barrel. I don't know how many how many balls already, so it's just yeah. it's just part of it, right? Uh, hit a rocket to first base. Uh, he missed a, a home run to right field. Uh, so that's part of the course, right? And uh, you know, obviously, he's going to be honest about his shoulder. Uh, sometimes he won't be very honest about his shoulder, but uh, he wants to play. Uh, you know, he knows when he plays, we have a, a good chance to win. We'll take care of him. You know, uh, maybe in this series, maybe don't, we don't. But uh, you know, he, he's enjoying playing. He's playing good defense. And uh, one thing about this team, we don't have to worry about Rafi <laughs> Devers offensively. No, we don't. Now, Kenley, how do you guys decide? Like he goes back to back the other day. You were so thoughtful about stretching him out and also protecting him the other day after he throws whatever it was 23 pitches the night before how do you make that decision to double up on him rather than say give him a couple days yeah i mean it's getting to a point in his spring training that he needs to go back to back days <laughs> and that was the case and we talked to him there's open conversations you know and he's very honest about it and uh it was a grind but i do believe that you know he he feels this you know and uh he worked hard in the off season and spring training to, to get himself in shape. Uh, I know obviously he was a little bit frustrated with the way people talk in the off season and all that, but he's here with us. He wants to win. He's been a good example for our young guys. And I know he's walked four, but that's not Kenley Jensen. The one thing that I'm, I'm very happy with, and we have talked about it, is the shape of his cutter. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's getting it back. So I know people talk about 91, 92 compared to 99. Kenley Jensen never threw 99 in his career. You know, that was an aberration, you know. And uh, last year he, he relied on Velo, uh, but his, uh, his delivery was a little bit off. His release point was off. So he got outs because he was throwing harder than usual. But the shape of his cutter wasn't the same as in the past. And that's what, what we're trying to accomplish. And when we get that, it's going to be very, very fun. How about cutter? Last thing for you. I mean, Crawford on the mound today and... It's hard to pick who was the best the first time through, but just in terms of his evolution and the competitive fire that he always has on the mound of, what did you see the first one, and what are you expecting here today? Uh, just the same thing. Uh, the mix of the pitches. Uh, he has a good curveball. He has a good cutter. The split is okay, but he has an elite fastball. And, uh, you know, in this game that you mix in a match in and, and we come to a series and we recognize certain things, 
he can adjust throughout his outing just like Witt did, just like he did in in, um, in Seattle. So uh, I expect him to go out there and uh, give us at least five, hopefully six or more, and give us a chance to win. Thanks so much, Alex. Good Thank luck you. tonight. Thank you, Will. Appreciate it. All right, the Sherman-Williams question of the week is brought to you by Sherwin-Williams. Got paint questions? Ask Sherwin-Williams. And ask Sherwin-Williams how to bring color to your life. Time to see who's in the hot tub. The injury update is presented by New England Spas. Create your own home paradise with a soothing new hot tub, swim spa, sauna, or cold plunge from New England Spas. The home relaxation specialist. Visit New England Spas in Natick, Norwell, Auburn, or soon in Warwick online at nespas.com. Uh, both Vaughn Grissom and Rob Refsnyder could be uh, could begin a rehab assignment next week. All right, we have the starting lineups and the scoreboard coming up next on the Mass Mutual pregame show. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. Got dings, dents, scratches, or faded paint? Mako's got you covered. Refresh your ride with your refund during our tax season event because your car deserves to shine. Head to Mako.com to schedule your estimate today. Uh-oh, better get Mako. Your green lawn starts right now at Rocky's Ace Hardware with Scott's Four Step. One lush green lawn, four easy steps. Spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Get to Rocky's now for instant savings up to $75 off the full program. Scott's Four Step gives you fertilizer, insect and rodent control, and protection against weeds, fungus, and disease. Buy now at Rocky's and save big for the season. Rocky's also has mulch, soil, rakes, shovels, and tools. Rocky's Ace Hardware, your home for hardware and more. Find your store at rockies.com. Um. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. The Namco Pool Splash It to Spring Sales event is here. Transform your backyard into a budget-friendly oasis with a remarkable selection of above-ground pools, hot tubs, and patio furniture. Take advantage of pools up to 20% off, jacuzzis up to $1,000 off, and patios up to 56% off. Get in now for the Namco Pool Splash It to Spring Sale going on now through the 22nd. Namco Pool, the most trusted pool company for your community. Namcopool.com. At Marshall Building and Remodeling, we care about your home because we care about the life you live in it. Why do we do what we do? It's simple. The people. We've raised the standard for what you can expect during a roofing, siding, and window project because you deserve more. More communication, more options, more time spent on the important things in life instead of worrying about home maintenance. So when it comes to your next roofing, siding, or window project, expect more. Get more with Marshall. Call today or visit marshallbr.com to schedule your free estimate. This is NASCAR driver Tony Breidinger inviting you to make a pit stop at Raising Cane's for craveable, hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers. Chicken up. Crispy, crinkle-cut fries. Hot potato coming through. Buttery Texas toast. Toast walking. And secret cane sauce. Stopping off now. Turbocharge your chicken fingers and get them even faster when you order online or with the Raising Cane's app. Go, go, go! Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Raising Cane's is not affiliated with NASCAR. Mitchell College is a place of radical possibilities. Uncover your unique power and study what is most important, you. From starting or finishing a degree to career upskilling, or learn how you learn best, our compassionate approach embraces every side of you. Mitchell's inclusive community offers personalized study with pre- and post-college support, so you can be the best, authentic you. Learn more at mitchell.edu. That's mitchell.edu. The number one selling product of its kind with over 20 years of research and innovation. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A, is a prescription medicine used to temporarily make moderate to severe frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead lines look better in adults. 
Effects of Botox Cosmetic may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness may be a sign of a life-threatening condition. Patients with these conditions before injection are at highest risk. Don't receive Botox Cosmetic if you have a skin infection. Side effects may include allergic reactions, injection site pain, headache, eyebrow and eyelid drooping, and eyelid swelling. Allergic reactions can include rash, welts, asthma symptoms, and dizziness. Tell your doctor about medical history, muscle or nerve conditions including ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, myasthenia gravis, or Lambert-Eaton syndrome and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. For full safety information, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. See for yourself at BotoxCosmetic.com. The Namco Pool Splash into Spring Sales Event is here. Transform your backyard into a budget-friendly oasis with a remarkable selection of above-ground pools, hot tubs, and patio furniture. Take advantage of pools up to 20% off, jacuzzis up to $1,000 off, and patios up to 56% off. Get in now for the Namco Pool Splash into Spring Sale going on now through the 22nd. Namco Pool, the most trusted pool company for your community. Namcopool.com. Gresh and Fourier, weekdays 10 to 2. Now back to the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI, Red Sox Radio Network. Back here on the Mass Mutual Red Sox pregame show. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. Red Sox, winners of five in a row, taking on the Angels tonight, the first of three from Anaheim. Let's get you the Red Sox lineup for tonight. It's brought to you by Herb Chambers. At Herb Chambers, we don't sell cars. We help people buy them. Jaron Duran, who just had nine hits in the Oakland series, he is in left field leading off, followed by Rafael Devers at third. Trevor Story is the shortstop batting third. Then Masutaka Yoshida, the DH, bats fourth. Then Tyler O'Neill in right field. Tristan Casas, the first baseman, bats sixth. And Manuel Valdez at second base, bats seventh. Sedan Rafael is in center field, batting eighth. And Reese McGuire is behind the plate, batting ninth. He'll be catching for Cutter Crawford, who makes his second start of the year. His first appearance, he went six scoreless against Seattle where he had seven strikeouts but had to settle for a no decision as they lost that game in extra innings. Time now for the Subaru of New England scoreboard. The Subaru of New England Love Spring event is here. Drive away in a brand new 2024 Subaru. Find your authorized Subaru retailer at SubaruofNewEngland.com. A bunch of finals from earlier today. The Blue Jays shut out the Yankees 3 nothing. New York now falls to 6-2 and two on the year. Tigers off to a great start to the year. They got a 5-4 win over the sad Oakland A's. The Cubs got a home run from Dansby Swanson and beat the Dodgers by a score of 9-7 in Wrigley. Rockies beat the Rays 10-7. Tampa off to a slow 3-5 start to the year. Baltimore Orioles improved to 5-2 as they beat the Pirates 5-2 in Pittsburgh. Giants topped the Padres 3-2. Mets over the Reds 3-2. And the Phillies blank the Nationals for nothing in D.C. And uh, games going on right now. You have the Diamondbacks on top of the Braves, 5-2, to two, as they play in the top of the eighth inning down in Atlanta. Royals lead the White Sox 2-1 to one in the bottom of the eighth inning. Rangers all over the Astros, 7-zip as they play in the sixth. Brewers lead the Mariners 4-3. to three in the bottom of the sixth, though the uh, the only uh, real late game is Red Sox and Angels, and uh, it'll be Cutter Crawford opposite Griffin Canning. He gave up five runs in five innings in his first appearance of the year, taking on Baltimore. So Angels coming into this one four and two, Red Sox five and two, and riding that four-game winning streak as they will try to make it five tonight. All right, that'll do it for us, for our producer Stiz, I'm Rich Keefe. You've been listening to the Mass Mutual pregame show. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. Will Fleming and Tyler Murray have the call of Red Sox and Angels. Coming up next on the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. You've been listening to the Mass Mutual Red Sox pregame show. Proudly brought to you by Mass Mutual. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. The Red Sox are coming up next on the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Radio Network. The Namco Pool Splash into Spring Sales Event is here. Transform your backyard into a budget-friendly oasis with a remarkable selection of above-ground pools, hot tubs, and patio furniture. Take advantage of pools up to 20% off, jacuzzis up to $1,000 off, and patios up to 56% off. 
Get in now for the Namco Pool Splash Into Spring Sale going on now through the 22nd. Namco Pool, the most trusted pool company for your community. Namcopool.com. There are any number of reasons you might consider selling your home. To move closer to family, live within a smaller budget, or just wanting a change of scenery. Whatever your reasons, having to figure out all the various housing market trends in your area may not be what you signed up for. That's where an agent who is a Realtor comes in. Realtors have the expertise to help you find the right price and navigate the process to sell your home in a way that's right for you. That's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. When it comes to your home, we know there are plenty of reasons to protect what's inside. Your family, your photographs, your peace of mind after a long day. At Marshall, we know that protection starts on the outside. We specialize in roofing, siding, and window installations, so we can be sure these critical pieces work well together for long-lasting beauty. Plus, with our easy payment options, investing in your home is more affordable than you may think. So when it comes to your home, protect what's inside with Marshall, your local roofing, siding, and window people. Sox fans, the boys of summer are back, and the future is here. Haas has absolutely obliterated that ball. Jaron Duran leading off with a home run. With the free Odyssey app, you can catch every Devers blast with Hall of Fame Joe on the call. Up another opposite field home run for Rafi Devers. Your soundtrack to summer is on Boston Sports Original with every Sox game live on the Odyssey app with WEEI. Download it today, A-U-D-A-C-Y. Live games available for fans in market only. Hey, did you know Vistaprint prints everything a small business needs? Like if a barbershop needs signage, we print outdoor signs, posters, and banners. Or if a ballet school needs merch, we print tote bags, t-shirts, hoodies, hats. Or if a coffee shop needs a total refresh, Vistaprint designs logos and prints it on menus, mugs, paper bags, anything. Because with Vistaprint, the printabilities are endless. Print it all with 25% off for new customers with code NEW25 at vistaprint.com. Your green lawn starts right now at Rocky's Ace Hardware with Scott's Four Step. One lush green lawn, four easy steps. Spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Get to Rocky's now for instant savings up to $75 off the full program. Scott's Four Step gives you fertilizer, insect and rodent control, and protection against weeds, fungus, and disease. Buy now at Rocky's and save big for the season. Rocky's also has mulch, soil, rakes, shovels, and tools. Rocky's Ace Hardware, your home for hardware and more. Find your store at rockies.com. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you. Around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise. For lives in drive. Baseball is boring. Let's welcome in Red Sox pitcher Tanner Houck. I think we're at like pretty close to like max like what the human body can do. Like I don't know how much more we can really get out of out of the human body in terms of baseball pitching wise. But now I think you're gonna see you know people throwing sliders at 20 horizontal at like 88. MLB the show type stuff. Baseball is boring. Available on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcast. This is And the Boston Red Sox are the world champions Red Sox Baseball And it is gone And Boston strong On the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Radio Network For the first time in 86 years The Red Sox on WEEI are brought to you by Shaws and Star Market Perfecting the art of fresh Holy cow 110 Grill, gluten-free dining done right. Arbella, here for baseball fans, here for good. Brought to you by Azek Exteriors. Visit www.azekexteriors.com. Mike's Amazing, the official mayo and mustard of the Boston Red Sox. And it's gone! Sitgo, when you start with Sitgo, you're good to go. Sponsored by DigSafe. Call 811 before you dig or visit digsafe.com. Drains by James, Eastern Massachusetts leader in drain cleaning and pipelining. And that ball is gone into the front row of the monster seats. 
Herb Chambers. At Herb Chambers, we don't sell cars. We help people buy them. Morgan & Morgan. Injured? Hire Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Cars for kids. Old car giving you problems? Why not donate it? Call 1-877-CARS-4-KIDS today. Northern Bank. New England Ford. Ford Trucks. Official truck of the Boston Red Sox. Looking up! Sponsored by Sherwin-Williams. The Sherwin-Williams Pro Plus program helps you manage and grow your paint business. Sponsored by Nissan. At Nissan, we make cars that thrill. Experience the thrill for yourself. Shop NissanUSA.com. Town Fair Tire. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. We're going to drive to left field. There are a couple runs. Way gone. Subaru of New England. Love spring in the all-wheel drive 2024 Subaru Forester. Verizon, the network Boston relies on. Long gone into the monster seats. Now, with all the play-by-play -play action, here's Will Fleming and Tyler Murray. From the big Halo Angels Stadium in Anaheim, California, the West Coast road trip rolls on. We welcome you to yet another radio production of Boston Red Sox baseball. The Sox are hot to start the season, 5-2 and two, through Seattle and Oakland, but unfinished business against the L.A. Angels, who are coming off a sweep of the Miami Marlins. It's the home opener for the Angels here tonight. It is unseasonably chilly in this part of the country, but the electricity is in the building here with Mike Trout and the Angels hosting the Boston Red Sox. Will Fleming along with Tyler Murray making his major league debut. Thrilled to have Tyler with us and uh, it's not always going to be this way Tyler. There will not always be fighter jets flying over the ballpark. <laughs> the big national anthem American flag out in center field but uh, look this Red Sox team I think it's really important that they carry the momentum from Oakland to this series but most importantly, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. You're right, Will, that it is cold. I'm trusting you because I can't really feel anything right now, <laughs> but it's so nice to be here. Really thrilled to be next to you. Thanks for being such a, a great host. But, I mean, the most exciting thing is how good the Red Sox look, maybe with the exception of some defensive miscues on Wednesday, which Alex Cora addressed. This team seems to have fixed a lot of the issues of last year. We're going to find out a lot, though, about both the Angels, who have won four in a row, and the Red Sox, who have won four in a row as they face off this weekend. Jared Weaver is here to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. Tori Hunter and many other Longtime great Angels players are here. It is quite an environment here. The Red Sox will have Cutter Crawford on the mound against Griffin Canning, who got shelled in his opener. The Red Sox trying to make it five games on this road trip that uh, they will win consecutively after f winning the finale in Seattle and then sweeping the Oakland Athletics. Time now for the National Anthem, which is brought to you by BuildSubmarines.com, where you'll find stable, sustaining, skilled trades careers, helping bring the next generation of U.S. Navy submarines to life. We build giants because it takes one to build one. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the Kids red the balls bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner Well, a 
a stirring rendition of our Star Spangled Banner and the Red Sox and the Los Angeles Angels are ready to go here at the Big Halo. Sox swept the Oakland Athletics and looking to keep it going. A ballpark that's been very kind to them in recent years. And uh, now, Tyler Murray, for the first time, thrilled to throw it to you for tonight's starting lineups. It is time for the Morgan & Morgan starting lineups. Thank you, Will. It's brought to you by America's largest injury law firm. First for the visiting Boston Red Sox, who come in with a record of 5-2. and two. Jaron Duran will lead off and play left field, coming off a 4-4 four for four game on Wednesday in Oakland. And Rafi Devers, third baseman, hitting second. Looking to get back into rhythm after missing two games with that sore left shoulder. Trevor Story hits third and plays shortstop. He's heating up a little bit after a 1-for-15 start. And it's Masataka Yoshida, the DH, who is cleaning up. Tyler O'Neill is going to be in between Yoshida and Casas. He's hitting fifth and playing right field. Alex Cora saying before the game he didn't want three lefties in a row for this particular matchup with Griffin Canning. And that means Casas hitting sixth and playing first base. Bottom third of the lineup, and Manuel Valdez, the second baseman batting seventh. Sadon Rafaela in center field hitting eighth. And then Reese McGuire, who's five for 15 to start the season, rounds out the order, catching and batting ninth. As for the Los Angeles Angels, managed by Ron Washington, first year skipper, 71 years old, oldest manager in the league. He sends 0 for 19 Anthony Rendon to third base and to the top of the batting order tonight. Hitting second, Nolan Shawnawell, he's the first baseman, first round pick in just last year's draft. And of course, Mike Trout hits third and plays center field. Three home runs this year, all solo shots. Taylor Ward, the cleanup hitter, he's off to a red hot start in the four hole. He's the left fielder for Los Angeles. Then Brandon Drury, the second baseman, will hit fifth. Miguel Sano in a comeback attempt as the designated hitter batting sixth. Then the bottom third of the Angels' order, Mickey Moniak, former first overall pick, is in right field. Logan Ohapi is getting a bobblehead giveaway here later this month. He's the catcher hitting eighth. And then Zach Neto, the shortstop, will hit ninth to round things out against Cutter Crawford. Indeed, and uh, kind of a funny moment here in L.A. as Shohei Otani's face was put up on the video board as the reigning MVP and to resounding boos here in L.A. They're celebrating heroes of years gone by and... It was not pleasant for Shohei's face to come up on the video board. Uh, he is across town and thriving with the L.A. Dodgers, although some controversy following him over these last couple of weeks. So we are definitely on California time here. The, the Angels have not yet taken the field. And they will soon do that with Griffin Canning. And, you know, I, it's a fascinating situation here, Tyler, with these Angels. Otani gone, Trout remains as the umpires march out to receive the lineup cards here in just a moment. It's opening day. There's a palpable energy in this building. They come off the sweep of the Marlins, but uh, this organization, this Angels club, is sort of in that purgatory, that no-man's land. They got one of the best players on planet Earth, and yet they lost Otani, and who knows what the future holds. Yeah, trying to get back to the playoffs for the first time since 2014. That's tied with the Tigers for the longest active postseason drought in the major leagues. So they're one of eight teams across the bigs with a new manager this year. And since Mike Sosha stepped down in 2018, they've got four different guys leading the team. Brad Osmus, Joe Madden, Phil Nevin, and now Ron Washington. But so far, the reviews have been phenomenal for Washington. They had two blowout losses in Baltimore people may be panicking a bit so he calls a team meeting says let's settle down at that point it was still march and they haven't lost since then uh, they're rattling off four straight wins but much like the red sox we're going to find out this weekend is it because the marlins who are 0 and 8 uh, kind of rolled over maybe with the red sox did they catch an oakland a's team that might not be in for the best season of their franchise history or are these two teams really destined for something special this year? Ron Washington, one of my favorite people in the whole game. So great that he got a new opportunity, a second chance after for many years managing the Texas Rangers. Cutter Crawford and Reese McGuire come out of the Red Sox bullpen getting high fives in their dugout. Alex Cora is not chatting with Ron Washington. Unusual that on the home opener, the manager would not bring the lineup card out. As it is, the Red Sox, of course, come in to play today. 5-2, and two. and because the Yankees lost their game today, the Red Sox are half a game out of first place. The Blue Jays handled the Yankees on opening day for them. 3 to nothing was the final score there. Elsewhere, the Orioles beat the Pirates in snow in Pittsburgh, 5-2. to two. The Tampa Bay Rays 
They had their customary scheduled uh, loss in Colorado, 10-7 to on the Rockies as Mike Trout leads the Angels out onto the diamond with Griffin Canning. Red Sox have not had a lot of success against this right-handed pitcher. He did get hit very hard in his season opener, speaking of the Orioles. And he, the tall right-hander, is just about ready to begin his warm-up tosses. As we mentioned, the Red Sox are going to squeeze Tyler O'Neill between Yoshida and Casas. And, and Tyler, Alex, told us before the game, they're just going to experiment with this lineup to try to split the lefties Yoshida and Casas and, and squeeze O'Neill between them. So it's Duran, Devers, and Story to begin things. And you really start to see the potential depth of this lineup the way that it is submitted tonight by Alex Cora. Yeah, no question. you got six lefties in the Red Sox lineup. Angels have seven righties, so I guess a lot of consistency in that sense. But this is a great part of the year, great time with the year to try to tinker with some things because, as you said, Griffin Canning, I mean, one of his best outings ever came against the Red Sox last year, seven scoreless last May 23rd. But this is a guy who throws a lot of pitches in the zone. You have to be ready to swing early. 60% of the batters he faced last year saw a first pitch strike. Hopefully they can wake the offense up a little bit after uh, maybe one too many one nothing wins over the last uh, week or so. And there's no question if you look across the board, the Red Sox really kind of middle of the pack offensively in just about every important category, but the pitching has been dominant, the defense as well. And Jared Grand looking to spearhead things here tonight. For the first time on the road, the Red Sox are going to wear the, the blue tops above gray pants. It's kind of been a point of emphasis and pride for Alex Cora to, to stick to the traditional look, the road grays. They will wear the whites more often at home this year, but uh, I like the look of the blue top above gray pants, and we are just about ready to go. Last year, they had an identical home and road record, 39 and 42. So whatever they need to do wardrobe-wise yeah. to improve both of those numbers, you got to do. No question. Here comes the red-hot Jaron Duran. He's into the left-handed batter's box. Canning crossing himself up back of the mound dairy. He's got the rosin bag. Duran, a ho-hum series in Oakland in which he got nine hits, got on base 11 times in 13 plate appearances, and he is scorching hot. Left-handed hitter into the box, and Griffin Canning is ready to go. He winds overhead, and the first pitch of the ball game is popped up. On the left side into shallow left field. Back in it goes the shortstop, Neto, and he'll call Ward off. And Zach Neto, the Angels shortstop, is there to make the play. Tyler, you were on it. He does throw a ton of first pitch strikes. And Duran a little bit late on that one. He is gone, and on one pitch, one down for Rafi Devers. Take you on the defense for the Angels. You got the Taylor Ward in left field, Mike Trout in center, Mickey Moniak in right. Anthony Rendon, the third baseman, Zach Canetto, and Brandon Drury up the middle. Nolan Shawnawell is at first, and Logan Ohapi catches for Griffin Canning. See, this thing in the big leagues is not that big a deal. Here's Rafi Devers. Canning throws, and Rafi, who had a tough series in Oakland, takes strike one. Devers on the season, five for 23. A little over-anxious. We, we all think the shoulder really is bothering him. The 0-1 is a breaking ball downstairs. Curve that missed, and it's 1-1. One and one. Are you seeing what I'm hearing reported pulling off of the ball a little bit with that swing? Yeah, I mean, when he was leaving spring training, it was so hot, driving balls the other way. One and one with one down the pitch. That's low. First changeup we've seen from Canning. That could be a weapon for him. And it's two and one. It's always the case with Rafi that if he finds a left center field gap, good things follow. Two and one with one down in L.A., the pitch is another ball a little bit low with a fastball and it's three and one will fleming and tyler murray making his major league debut not a bad vantage point to do your first big league ball game we are low we're right behind home plate it's so good here there's not even windows three one swing and a miss by devers and again he's wincing swinging and missing and it's three and two and those those big hacks are the ones that make you hold your breath. He so often feels pain after those. If he's got a homer and two driven in, it came in the opener in Seattle. Three and two, Canning throws. And Rafi takes ball four, a breaking ball. He checked his swing. He kind of danced around there. 
And the Red Sox have their first base runner encouraging Devers aboard for Trevor Story. Yeah, great take on a back foot breaking ball from Canning. It almost went around, but good strong wrists able to hold up. You'd love to see him be able to do damage on that 3-1 fastball coming in at 93 over the outer half, but on base is on base. I told you about the great seven-inning start he had against the Red Sox last year. Here's Trevor Story, who really swung it in Oakland. The pitch to him is a fastball right there at the top of the zone. Strike one. Trevor, seven for 29, but hot of late. Yet to have his first home run, Devers, not a real threat to run at first. He's held over there by Sean Well. That's what I'm going to have to work on. Here's a high fly ball into center field. Mike Trout. One of the game's great players circling underneath it. He's there to make the play. And quickly two down. Nolan Shawnawell. That story's gone. Two down. Here comes Yoshida. The thing with the Angels is you have to be ready for new players every year. The first guy to debut in the bigs from the last three MLB drafts has been an Angels first-round draft pick. They do not wait around to find out if they like guys which is really kind of a treacherous path if you think about it. Here's Yoshida. Nice series in Oaktown. The pitch to him is a little bit outside. You know, it's the currency of the realm these days to try to get cost-controllable players and manage salary and the roster, but a lot of people across the game think the Angels rush guys and really harm their outlook. 1-0 to Yoshida. Devers at first. The pitch is a little bit outside with a fastball, and it's 2-0. 22 games in the minor leagues before Nolan Shawnawell was called up to the majors last year. But it's gone okay so far. Let's see whether Dylan Cruz or Paul Skeens are next up in that world with the Pirates and the Nats. 2-0 to Massa. Canning ready. Pitch just outside. Good take. And it's 3-0. This is where the new look first-time lineup with Alex Cora putting O'Neal behind Yoshida becomes enticing. I mean, Moss is in the driver's seat, 3-0, with the slugging O'Neal out on deck. Two down with a runner aboard. No score in the first, the pitch. That is a strike. Massa very rarely offers 3-0. Took that one on the black, and it's 3-1. It is never boring to see Mike Trout do anything on a baseball field. He's shaded a little bit toward left center field. Three and one. See if Massa rips the pitch. He is a check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. A slider that fooled him. That's kind of an in-between swing. See so much of that in the big league game these days. Hitters counts to see spin. And Yoshida could not lay off. It's three and two. Ron Washington on the bench on the far side of the dugout, instructing the defense, telling Sean Well to play behind as this pitch is on the inside corner. Strike three called. Massa looked at too many there. Did not take the bat off his shoulder. And the inning comes to a close. Devers walks, but that's it for the Sox. No score after half an inning. Cutter Crawford. We'll see Mike Trout and the Angels in a scoreless game after this. In the Shaw's and Star Market, WEI. Red Sox Network. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you. Around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise for lives and drive. Set yourself up for success sooner than later. After graduation, when I got my first official full-time job, I realized punctuality is imperative. It wasn't until I was a parent when I realized being reliable is critical. I'm pretty sure it wasn't until I retired when I realized how essential it is to be health conscious. Steve Lewis and Company. Invest with confidence. Helping you plan a brighter future. Need food for a meeting? Make sure it goes right from start to finish. Order on EasyCater.com, one simple, reliable platform. With over 100,000 restaurants from national chains to local favorites, it's easy to find food for any taste or dietary need. And EasyCater has your back with 24-7 support to make sure everything goes right. 
Client lunches, team meetings, sales calls, company events, 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Order online at easycater.com. Ask your smart speaker to play 93.7 WEEI. Now back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. Cut of Crawford's first pitch to Anthony Rendon. It was greeted with some boos. There's a fastball for a strike. This man who signed a massive contract with the Angels and has not delivered. A one is fouled straight back. Seven years, $245 million. They've not won. He's not played enough games. Oft injured. And in this offseason, said he wished the season were shorter. Which, in a bubble, in a vacuum, like to spend more time with your family, sure, but not as a guy who's making all this dough, has a fastball to him, misses high, and it's one of two poorly timed comments from Rendon as this Angel franchise loses Otani. He's their highest paid player, not named Mike Trout, one and two. Cutter Crawford throws and a swing and a foul back to the screen. It's one and two. Yeah, Rendon, third baseman, making it $38 million this year. So your Red Sox comp, Rafi Devers, makes about $10 million less. And a slow start offensively for Rendon. Rendon making Tyler Murray money. Bottom of the first, no <laughs> score. They play him to pull on the infield. The one-two pitch is a little bit high. Ducks out of the way. It was not near him, but a high fastball, and it's two and two. Talking to so many people who know Anthony Rendon, and he's a very pleasant, likable guy. It's 100 games a year ago. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him with a sweeper. And Rendon, here's more Boo Birds. Wow. High sweeper there from Cutter Crawford, but that was his bread and butter last weekend. Threw it more than any other pitch, even though his fastball is one of the best offerings in MLB, but yeah, Rendon, an 0 for 20 start to the season. That will not help. It's one of those things that's best kept unsaid. Here is the left handed hitting Nolan Shunawell, and he takes a pitch inside a cutter from Cutter. And it's 1 0. Names are not usually hard for me, but this one, for some reason, I've just got a little mental block. Shunawell. It, it certainly doesn't look like it's pronounced <laughs> that way. No, it does not. The 1 0. That's a strike on the outside corner. S C H A N U E L. Nolan Shonawell. One and one from Cutter, who was so great the other day in Seattle. Lately, that's par for the course. The 1 1 is outside. Through his first splitter of the night, it missed. And it's 2 and 1. He's been awesome against the Angels in his career, all as a reliever. But in 10 innings, only two runs with 10 strikeouts and one walk. 2-1 is a little bit low. Cut fastball. That missed, and it's 3-1 and one with Mike Trout out on deck. No score. Bottom one. Sox in Anaheim. 3-1 from Crawford. Swing and a miss. He got him with a great fastball. And again, that pitch is such a weapon, and it's three and two. Casas at first, and Manuel Valdez, the second baseman. Story at short with Rafi at third, playing where traditionally the shortstop would stand. Rafaela trying to stay warm, hopping around in the outfield in center. O'Neill in right and Duran in left. The three two, strike three called. Fastball right there on the inside corner. Two hitters faced, two hitters fanned for Cutter. And here comes Trout. Well, we talked a lot about how he went away from his fastball early in his first start. But in the end, four of Crawford's seven strikeouts came on that four-seamer. So he's using it more as a put-away pitch than as a setup offering. And it makes him more unpredictable than ever, which is great news for the Red Sox. So here is Trout, one of the all-time great players. His entire career here, and he was greeted quite warmly. He takes a fastball upstairs for ball one. He is third in the Herb Chambers batting order, brought to you by Herb Chambers Cadillac of Linfield and Cadillac of Warwick. 1-0 to Mike Trout to pitch to the three-time MVP. Is fouled off on the first base side. Cutter's first strikeout of Rendon brought to you by Northern Bank.
One ball, one strike to Trout, who's had a very nice start to the year. He takes a pitch and pops it up on the first base side. It's a really tough twilight sky, but McGuire has it behind the plate in foul territory. And just like that, Crawford is through the inning in order. One, two, three, down go the Halos. No score. After one, on the Shaws and Star Market, WEI, Red Sox Network. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise. For lives in drive. Set yourself up for success sooner than later. After graduation, when I got my first official full-time job, I realized punctuality is imperative. It wasn't until I was a parent when I realized being reliable is critical. I'm pretty sure it wasn't until I retired when I realized how essential it is to be health conscious. Steve Lewis and Company. Invest with confidence. Helping you plan a brighter future. The Namco Pool Splash It to Spring sales event is here. Transform your backyard into a budget-friendly oasis with a remarkable selection of above-ground pools, hot tubs, and patio furniture. Take advantage of pools up to 20% off, jacuzzis up to $1,000 off, and patios up to 56% off. Get in now for the Namco Pool Splash It to Spring sale going on now through the 22nd. Namco Pool, the most trusted pool company for your community. Namcopool.com. Adoption of teens from foster care is a topic not enough people know about, and we're here to change that. I'm April Dinwiddie, host of the new podcast, Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Each episode brings you compelling real-life adoption stories told by the families that live them with commentary from experts. Visit adoptuskids.org slash podcast or subscribe to Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families and the Ad Council. Take Boston sports with you wherever you go. Download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. Tyler O'Neill leading it off for the Sox. In the top of the second, we are scoreless. Kenny throws and Tyler, not that Tyler, this Tyler O'Neill in front of Murray. Takes ball one inside. We're bonded for life. It's a great name, Will. <laughs> I think he's going to homer in your first big league game. He's been so good for the Sox. The 1-0 is high in the air into right center field trout back at the track at the wall gone tyler o'neill goes yard and the red sox lead it one to nothing i, I know it's not the job description but i am speechless right now will fleming <laughs> I, I always dreamed of being present for a prediction right or wrong but next pitch incredible <laughs> tyler for tyler it goes deep that's a good way to get on the board. He is a special player, Mr. O'Neill. He's had a feeling about that. And now Tristan Casas is the fan, throws the ball back out onto the grass. I'll take it. Yeah, let's get it for you. Come <laughs> on. I'll work on that with the security guards. As long as the L.A. Dodgers support staff is not involved in that process. What a debacle that was over at. Chavez Ravine after Otani's first home run. Here now, Tristan Casas. Pitch to him. Swinging a high drive in the left center field. This thing is crushed. Trout can only watch it. Goodbye. Back to back. O'Neill and Casas. And it's 2 nothing Red Sox. This is a first pitch fastball. Dotted on the outer black at 93, but Casas powers it the other way to the delight of what sounds like thousands of Red Sox fans out here in Anaheim. It always is that way in this part of the country. You know, this Red Sox team won five of their first seven games without hitting. Oh, what might happen if the bats do this? Here's the pitch to N. Manuel Valdez. He takes a strike on the outside corner, and it's 0-1. So they go back to back. Last time they did that, August of last year, Turner and Duvall. Here's the 0 1. Manu takes outside. He's got a homer. He's four for his first 21. 
two nothing Red Sox. Couple of big, big flies. The one one on the ground, hard toward first. It's backhanded by Shunwell, and he flips to the covering Kenning for the first out in the second. It was just today, right? Alex Cora said in the dugout. We're not even close to who we can be as an offense. And it's, in his words, it was, it's pretty cool because we're still winning ball games. And I'd say so far that O'Neal 5, Casa 6, that works out okay in this new look lineup. And no question about that here is Sedan Rafael. One down in the second, two zip socks. Here's the pitch. Hard on the grounded foul on the third base side. Kubota Orange Days are here. Check out Kubota's great lineup of zero-turn mowers and subcompact tractors today. In New Hampshire, visit MB Tractor and Equipment in Conway and Summersworth. Give you the Friday Farm Report here in a moment. we got just the guy for that. The 0-1 to Rafaela. A little bit high with the fastball. There is, it's not exactly ideal baseball weather back at the place you so often call home. Uh, that's right. Polar Park was... Uh... I guess appropriately snowed out yesterday. Doubleheader today. <laughs> they split with the uh, Blue Jays affiliate Buffalo. Big game for Romy Gonzalez. 1-1. One, one. And that hit him. Uh-oh. You hope that Rafael is okay. That hit him on the left hand. And so far, he looks okay down in a crouch. Alex Cora, Brandon Henry come out. He just cannot afford to lose his glove in the outfield. He's flexing at that left hand. And now, looking a little bit more concerned as Alex grabs him by the right arm and essentially tell him to try to calm down. And out they come. This is one of those moments you just hold your breath and hope. Watching the replay, it caught him right on the top of the hand, which you never want to get hit anywhere. But it, as opposed to fingers or the wrist where there are all those tiny little breakable bones, it doesn't feel good, but maybe that's a a fortunate angle for Rafael. Well, it really crystallizes how much he's meant to this team and their great start through seven games, how much concern there is right now. Hopefully a break that it was a change-up at 87, but still, uh, the fact that he's still being checked out, not a great sign. Well, they got Will you Abreu up and getting loose in the Red Sox dugout, and the fact that they continue to look at that left hand, he's making a fist and flexing it out. He's so dynamic defensively. He's smiling now, so I think he's going to be okay, and that is a huge relief. So Cooper Criswell pitched the home opener for the Woo Sox. We've all been keeping our eyes on him. Rotational depth for the Red Sox as Brandon continues to look at Rafaela's left hand. Alex Cora has the helmet in his hand. And you talked about Romy Gonzalez. I mean, as Dahlbeck continues to struggle up here, he's just been on fire has Romy Gonzalez. We were all so impressed by him in spring training, and that's carried over into the regular year. Oh, no question. He's knocking the cover off the ball, and today in game one of that doubleheader in Worcester, he had a triple and a grand slam. Mm. Uh, just another day at the office for Gonzalez, who has incredible defensive versatility. He's played first base and shortstop already this year for Worcester, so you might see Gonzalez up here soon. Uh, thank goodness Rafael is going to stay in the game. He puts the helmet on. Alex and Brandon head to the dugout. That's a very good thing. It, it was, it did not go unnoticed that Romy Gonzalez started taking reps at first base. I mean, it's a clear threat. There's no other way to say it to Bobby Dahlbeck's spot on the roster. And it, you wonder what went wrong with the White Sox, why they didn't keep him around. And, you know, he missed a lot of time with injuries. So fresh start, renewed health. Could be an exciting year for Romy Gonzalez. So now here's Reese McGuire, who's been very hot to start the season. Five for his first 15. Coming in a run, and Alex Gore is just going to ride the hot hand. Rafael's got a big lead over at first. Canning out of the stretch. Throws, and here's a high drive in a right field. This is crushed. It is gone. Reese McGuire hits the Red Sox third. Third homer of the inning, and it's 4 nothing in Anaheim. First pitch fastball, 92. Reese McGuire knows what to do. Two of the three home runs have come on the first pitch. O'Neill's home run came on the second pitch. The game plan on Canning is he's going to throw you a strike early. Be ready for it. And the Red Sox, who came into this game with four homers all year, they got three in one inning. Such a great call, Tyler. They were ready to hunt fastballs early in counts, and they have punished them. Here now, 
Jaron Duran. Still only one out. The pitch is a little outside. Such a great game plan for McGuire, too, after the long visit at the mound. Ready to ambush. He admired that one, carried the bat halfway down the line and flipped it. 1-0, the pitch. Foul on the first base side. I, we'll have to look it up. They track these things. That's one of the hardest, longest home runs I've ever seen Reese McGuire hit. He pounded that ball. Four runs in. One and one with one down to Jaron Duran, close to his home in the offseason. He takes a pitch inside, and it's two and one. O'Neill, Casas, McGuire, Yahtzee in this second inning. Ball is flying. The 2 0, 2 1, I should say, is fouled off the end of the bat. And it's 2 and 2. You've brought the Red Sox some good luck. I don't think they needed any for the record. I mean, <laughs> if they pull this one off, they'll tie the Cubs for the longest uh, winning streak in the league at five. But Canning last year, average exit velocity was 91 miles an hour. That is one of the hardest hit numbers in the league. And it's not changing, at least not yet today. We have seen more of that here. 2-2 two -two is popped up. Foul side of third into the seats. It's amazing the balance between the Andrew Bailey doctrine of getting strike one, being ahead in counts, and having a reputation for that and getting hit so hard early in counts. It's got to be quality first pitch strikes. 2-2 two and two to Jaron Duran. Here's the pitch. High and outside, and it's 3-2. and two. Or I think if you ask... Andrew Bailey, he'll say, it's got to be a non-fastball first pitch strike. And so many of those in the first week of the season. Three and two to Duran. Four runs in. Canning throws. And Jaron swings and misses. He couldn't hold up there on a great slider. And he is gone for out number two. So he's got that. He's got that back foot slider. We almost saw him get Devers on it earlier, but he was able to check his swing. But this time... The Duran is not good weapon for a righty pitcher against a lefty loaded lineup that back foot slider. Mirabelle Insurance Foundation dedicated to striking out cancer by supporting the Jimmy Fund. Here's Devers. Walked his first time. Here's the pitch. That's outside. For every strikeout from Red Sox pitcher during this season, Arbella donates $50 to the Jimmy Fund. Here for the Jimmy Fund. Here for good. 55 for his first 23. The 1-0. High fly into center field. Trout drifting into a twilight sky. He reaches up and makes the play. The inning is over. But the Red Sox hit three homers, and they put four up. Go to the bottom of the second. 4 nothing Red Sox on the Shaws and Star Market. WEI Red Sox Network. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this? Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And life is moving at the speed of, well, life. Enterprise is right there with you. Around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise. For lives and drive. Subtle results. Still you, but with fewer lines. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A, is a prescription medicine used to temporarily make moderate to severe frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead lines look better in adults. Effects of Botox Cosmetic may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness may be a sign of a life-threatening condition. Patients with these conditions before injection are at highest risk. Don't receive Botox Cosmetic if you have a skin infection. Side effects may include allergic reactions, injection site pain, headache, eyebrow and eyelid drooping and eyelid swelling. Allergic reactions can include rash, welts, asthma symptoms, and dizziness. Tell your doctor about medical history, muscle or nerve conditions including ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, myasthenia gravis, or Lambert-Eaton syndrome and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. For full safety information, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877-351-0300. See for yourself at BotoxCosmetic.com. More Boston Sports Opinion, more often. Just download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox Baseball on WEEI. Cutter Crawford back to the mound. He's got a four-run lead as Taylor Ward digs into the right-handed batter's box as Cutter's first pitch is a strike on the inside corner. Fastball, perfectly placed. 
It is 0-1. O'Neal, Casas, and McGuire go deep for the Sox. Three homers in one inning. Pitch is on the ground softly to the right side. The first baseman, Casas, bobbles, picks it up, and he can't make a play. That'll be an error on Tristan. Took about two steps to his right. It was kind of a top-spinning corkscrew hopper, but that's a play he should make. Ward is aboard to begin the second. Yeah, first error of the year for Casas, and things got a little bit hairy on Wednesday with some infield defense keeping the uh, athletics in it. That's up to Crawford to make sure that one doesn't come back to bite the Red Sox. Happened to him so often last year. The defense let him down, I think, more than just about any Red Sox pitcher. Here is swing and a miss by the right-handed hitter, Brandon Drury. And it's 0-1. The Red Sox, in their entire history, well, they've hit four home runs in an inning. They've done that ten times. They just hit three in the second. The pitch is a chopper to the left side. Devers waits for a high hop. Throws to second. It's just in time. And that was a gutsy decision. Proved to be the right one for Devers. Ward out by a flash on soft chopper. So they do get the lead runner. And with one down, here comes Miguel Sano. League leaders in who's circling the drain. Presented by Drains by James. Eastern Mass's leader in residential and commercial drain cleaning and pipelining at Drains by James.com. They give a poop about your pipes. Unfortunately, Juan Soto is all over the place. <laughs> the league leaders in the American League is a fastball to Sano, who at one time was always among the league leaders in home runs, takes a fastball high for ball one. Soto off to a red-hot start, but the Yankees did fall today. With a win today, the Red Sox would be in first place. In the AL East, they lead 4-0. The pitch, that's high. And a sweeper from Cutter. As funny as that sounds, and it's 2-0. and We're going to talk to John Carter and all the great people in the Red Sox production crew about one minor detail when Cutter pitches at Fenway Park. 2-0 with one on and one out in this second. The pitch, and that's low and outside. I, I really want when he throws a cutter at Fenway on the pitch board for it to start with the letter K. That's how he spells it? No. I'm, sh I'm sure if he wrote down his pitch arsenal, he'd spell it with a K as well. These are things we should be able to make happen. 3-0 and oh, pitch. That's a strike on the inside corner. Logan O'Hoppy, by the way, has the second highest batting average in the league. He's batting eighth for the Angels here today. Jaron Duran Amazing what one series can do. He's eighth overall, 393. Three and one. Here's the pitch. High pop up. Back to home plate. Does McGuire have room? He looks high into the sky. Throws the mask away. In comes Raffi. And in the end, it's McGuire to get there and make the play. And the two down. The three words you hear this time of year more than any other amongst the that group, the Sabermetrics Illuminati, is small sample size. Yes. But, hey, Jaron Duran was very encouraging in Oakland. No question about it. Only thing left, I think, is maybe some extra base. Uh, all 11 of his hits so far this year have been singles, but not for lack of hard-hit contact. Here is a left-handed hitting Mickey Moniak. He takes a pitch downstairs. Four ball one, Subaru of New England scoreboard. Subaru of New England loves spring event is here. Drive away in a brand new 24 Subaru. Find your authorized retailer, Subaru of New England.com. 1 0. Cutter from the belt throws. Foul back to the screen. So we told you the Yankees fell today. The Giants up I 5. Won their home opener, beat the Padres 3 2. Home openers. All over the place today in baseball, including in Pittsburgh under snowy skies. <laughs> no thanks. One and one to Moniak with two down. The pitch is high. And by the way, for every four bagger the Red Sox hit this season, the Red Sox Radio Network donated $40 to Cars for Kids. We're making our donation. You should too. 877 Cars for Kids or go to carsforkids.com to donate today. The Red Sox are making some money. Cars for kids. Two and one. Crawford sees a check swing foul into the second deck. 
up above the concourse on the third base side. It's two and two. Just like a Tuesday night crowd in Syracuse, right? Something like that. Uh, <laughs> much better weather. 2-2. Two, two. Low and inside from Crawford. The count is full. That is my next destination, Will. Is it really? Monday is solar eclipse day in Syracuse. 100% <laughs> coverage, apparently. Mm -hmm. So I'll send you a picture. Well... With that in mind, drink this in. Three and two with two down. Crawford sets. Runner goes. The pitch popped up into shallow left center field. Story endeavors come together. Trevor is going to call everybody off. He's there to make the play. And the inning is over. Red Sox after two lead the Angels four to nothing on the Shaw's and Star Market. WEI Red Sox Network. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh-oh, better get Mako. This is Matt Spiegel, and we are off and running with Season 2 of the PBP, Voices of Baseball. The very best play-by-play -play voices in the game talk about their craft. Hear guests like Joe Davis explain the thought process during baseball's biggest games. you got to widen the lens. What does this home run mean? Harper, the swing! Incredible broadcasters sharing great stories from your favorite teams with new episodes weekly. Find us on the Odyssey app or wherever you find podcasts. Can you hear that? That's the sound of your engine building up damaging deposits. You know, the kind that hurt fuel economy, performance, and the longevity of your engine. And unfortunately, it starts the moment you drive it off the lot. So no matter the age of your vehicle, it's building up deposits. But here's the good news. There's a new motor oil that removes up to 100% of deposits. Introducing Valvoline Restore and Protect. It's the first and only motor oil that restores pistons to factory clean by removing up to 100% of deposits. That's right, 100%. Restoring your engine to run like new. Plus, Valvoline Restore and Protect is a premium full synthetic that features 79% greater wear protection than industry standards. And with continuous use, it even keeps new deposits from forming. So if you like how a new engine performs, you're going to love new Restore and Protect. Another first from Valvoline. You're listening to the Sox on the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Radio Network. Now back to the play-by-play -play action. 4 nothing Red Sox, top of the third in Anaheim, and for the play-by-play, -play, here is Tyler Murray. Thank you, Will. It's Trevor Story. Takes a first pitch breaking ball on the outside corner from Griffin Canning. No surprise, he's staying away from the first pitch fastball. Red Sox made him pay in the second. O'Neill, Casas, and McGuire going deep. Righty on righty. Story takes the rip and fouls back a changeup. And it's quickly nothing and two. So Story, Yoshida, and O'Neill, 3, 4, and 5 for the Red Sox, leading 4 nothing in the top of the third. In the Herb Chambers batting order, sponsored by Herb Chambers, Lincoln of Norwood and Lincoln of Westboro. Man, your first big league inning, you're already nailing the drops. Well, I've been rehearsing this for the last three <laughs> hours, so I'm glad it went okay. <laughs> Opening night in Anaheim. Great crowd here at the Big A. And story swings and skies one to shallow right. Toward the foul line goes Mickey Moniak. Near the corner, he'll make a two-handed catch. And Story is retired. He's over for 2 with a couple of fly-ups. So Masataka Yoshida now on base in all seven games so far with the Red Sox this year. Hits in six of seven, but struck out looking at a fastball his first time up. It is great here. Angel Stadium, fourth oldest ballpark in the majors, of course, behind Fenway and others. Yoshida takes a pitch up and away, fastball. It's a ballpark built in 1964. Older than every park except Dodger Stadium, Wrigley Field, and Fenway. Red Sox are going to be the last team to finally get their home opener in the league. Yoshida watches a changeup down low. So two balls and no strikes. Well, I mean, feels like I left my house in January. I mean, it's been forever. <laughs> finally got Lou back to his family. 
The Road Warriors, Bill Fleming, Lou Merloni. We're going to get the Hall of Famer back on the airwaves, Joe Castiglio, next week. Yoshida cuts and misses a changeup. Two and one. I understand you got a little message from Joe before the ball game today. Oh, sure did. Very supportive. Such a jerk. Joe Castiglia, and I was on the air with you two uh, a couple of years ago, and he said, great to meet you. Tell me all about the pitch clock. 2-1, <laughs> the swing and a miss of the slider. So 2-2 two and two on Yoshida, batting with the bases empty and one down. It's 4 nothing. Red Sox top three. I remember how great he was to me in my debut, and I'm very happy that you heard from him today. Hands over the head with a windup from Canning. And the 2 2 is low. And you know, Lou Merloni reached out with some great advice, too. He said, uh, <laughs> You know, when you're on the road with the team, you can still get groceries online for your family back home <laughs> with the Shaw's and Star Market app. So I thought you were going to say he told you to listen to nothing I say. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Don't check a bag, that's for sure. Pay off to Yoshida, swinging a chopper foul wide of first base. I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, it was the best thing to ever happen to him. He, I mean, the dude totally updated his wardrobe. Got all these new pants and jackets. He's never looked better. People were talking about it. Count three and two on Masataka Yoshida. Griffin Canning laboring. Here comes his 43rd pitch with one down in the third. And Yoshida hits one hard on the ground to the right side. That will sneak through the right field of base hit. So hits in seven of his eight games this year. And a one-out single for the Red Sox. Threw him a 3-2 slider around the knees. Would have been a called third strike. And Yoshida pounds it between first and second. So Tyler O'Neill. If you missed his first at-bat, it was perhaps the greatest moment of my entire life. Because <laughs> Will, Will Fleming predicted that O'Neill would go deep, and it happened the very next pitch. First offering here is a letter high fastball, nothing in one. We all have our things, you know. <laughs> and you just knowing when a major leaguer is going to go deep. And it was inspired because we have the same name, basically. O'Neill with a, a team of high three home runs now. That one went 4-10 out to right center field. Oh, one pitch is driven to left, but it's going to stay in the yard. Ward is coming in. Still in a few steps, and he'll make the play. That was a center cut changeup, but he just missed it. See, now that would have supplanted for the new best moment of your life. I mean, if you'd gone yard while you were on the air, that would have been even cooler. Right. I'm finding that each moment in the major leagues is just better than the previous. <laughs> but uh, again, thank you, Will, for uh, being such a great host. And really, everybody down in the dugout from the, you know, the Nesson crew to the, the beat reporters, the Pete Abraham, Alex Spear. Makes me feel like I've been here all year, but just a guest appearance. Here's Tristan Casas. It'll take a high fastball at 92. Are you a West Wing aficionado at all? Have you Not seen an that show? I, I respect the work of Sorkin, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeb Bartlett was a great president. <laughs> but beyond that, I, I can't get granular. Well, I'll tell you something here, if time allows, about that show that applies tonight. 1-0. Casas takes high. So Charlie is the president's body man throughout the course of that show. Is and that uh, Dulé Hill? It is Dulé Hill. Okay. And he, in his first appearance in the show. He comes on and there's a national security crisis. The president's given a big speech in the Oval Office. Here comes the 2-0 to Casas. He hits one sharply fouled on the first baseline. Violating a rule. I'm telling a story with two outs. But, right. but so he's meeting the president for the first time. He's in a terrible mood. He's cranky. He can't find his glasses and he settles down. He gives the speech and before that he brings Charlie aside and tells him a personal anecdote that we're going to help you overcome gun violence in your hometown. This is a story from the West Wing, if you're just joining us. <laughs> 2 1. Casas takes outside. This is good. Tyler getting me back on the rails in his big league debut. Anyway, he says to him at the, at the end of it, he says, I've never felt anything like this in my life. And Josh Lyman next to him says, It doesn't go away. And that's how it is in the big leagues, man. You can confirm that? It doesn't go away? It does not. How do you sleep? 3-1 <laughs> is swung on and missed. I mean, you might not have this amount of adrenaline, but it's never not amazing well, to be in these yards. I think uh, you told me when I first 
got the uh, Wu Sox broadcaster job that you, know, you grind through the minor leagues and sometimes you you wonder what's next how can I move up and when you get to the majors that goes away <laughs> so here you go well I'm enjoying it to say the least Red Sox enjoying a 4-0 lead runner on first two down top of the third there goes Yoshida pitch to Casas just outside ball four so Yoshida to second Casas works the walk. He's reached base in eight of his last 15 plate appearances after a one for 15 start to the year. So now in your first inning in the big leagues, I will stop telling three hitter long television stories. No, oh, I love it. You got anything for the newsroom? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was the West Wing was the Wednesday night show. I got to stay up until 10 o'clock because my parents wanted to watch it. You got great parents. Then. I sure do. I know they're proud tonight. That might be the best part of this experience. Here's Enmanuel Valdez. Two on, two out. And the first pitch is a slider that misses low from Canning. Not too much trouble in the first inning for this right-hander. He walked Rafi Devers, but that was it. And then the three home runs have busted this one open for the Red Sox in the third. Casas at first, Yoshida at second. And the 1-0. Valdez takes a change up down below the shins. Ball two. He's already got two game winning swings this season in Manuel. A sack fly on Wednesday, the only run in the 1 0 win in Oakland. And then last Sunday, he had the three run home run to eventually beat the Mariners. Only two losses this year for the Red Sox, both by a single run. 2-0 pitch is rolled foul, and they did not have Devers in the lineup for either of those losses. But certainly in terms of workload, a challenging schedule to start the year. Finally had their first off day of the season yesterday. 2-1. That dips low with a curveball from Canning, so 3-1. But in terms of the competition... You look at the first 32 games of the year for the Red Sox. They only play three games against teams that made the playoffs last year. They're all coming up at Fenway next week against the Orioles. And that is a measuring stick, to say the least. Certainly for this pitching staff, who leads the league in just about everything, taking on a vaunted Baltimore offense. Canning a look back at second. That's where Yoshida's leading off. Hitters count for Valdez. It's a 3-1. He swings and just missed it. Fouled it straight back to the screen. Count is full. Sedan Rafaela is waiting on deck, which is phenomenal news. He was hit in the hand with an 87-mile-an-hour changeup in the second inning. And it, it took a, a little bit longer than you would have hoped for him to be cleared, but he wound up at first base and scored on the McGuire home run. Two on, two out. The 3-2 pitch to end Manuel Valdez will wait as he calls timeout. That was scary. You know, more good news. This Red Sox offense is really grinding. Canning, he's already thrown 57 pitches. Anaheim's bullpen, not a strength. This is one of those opportunities as Suarez gets up, you could get under the soft underbelly. 3-2, foul back again. Which in these series, you know, these three-game sets, if you can get into the bullpen early in game one, there really is a carryover. And looks like that very well may happen here tonight. Yeah, Suarez, he's their long guy, so uh, they might be able to take swings on him for the next few innings if they get Canning out of the game. He had a rough start last Saturday. Gave up five runs in five innings to the Orioles, including a home run by Gunnar Henderson. Payoff to Valdez. Swing and a miss. Got him on a changeup, and that will strand a pair. Yoshida singles, Casas walks, but that's it for the Red Sox in the third. To the bottom half, it is 4 nothing Red Sox on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh-oh, better get Mako. It's March, and that can mean only one thing. The Madness is here. Not in front of a TV on game day? Listen to every round of NCAA March Madness live from Westwood One, free in the Odyssey app. Catch all the biggest moments of the tournament, no matter where you are. From Cinderella's. A 15 seed will head to the Elite Eights. 
to buzzer beaters. Atkinson scores! 1.4 seconds left. To champions. For the fourth time! Search for NCAA March Madness right here in the Odyssey app to get started. Are you ready to focus on what you're truly passionate about? At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, we're committed to helping students design a meaningful path for their future. As one of the country's top tier public research universities, we're helping drive the world forward, empowering students to challenge convention, champion innovation, and embrace the freedom of affecting real positive change in the world. Tap now to explore flexible options for a high quality education or visit umass.edu. Be revolutionary. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination, and then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. You're listening to the Sox on the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Radio Network. Now, back to the play-by-play -play action. 4 nothing Red Sox will go to the bottom of the third. Cutter Crawford starts Logan Ohapi off with a fastball for a strike. Whether you're off to the ballpark, dog park, or amusement park, Sitco top-tier tri-clean gasoline gets you going where you're going. Whether you're traveling near or far, when you start with Sitco, you're good to go. Oh, Hoppy hits one on the ground at the shortstop. Three hopper glove by Story, ranging to his left. Spins, throws, in time! What a play by Trevor Story. And Oh, Hoppy is retired to start the bottom of the third. Will mentioned it earlier. The defense with Crawford on the mound last year left a bit to be desired. All the advanced metrics pointed to a turnaround season statistically for Crawford with improved defense, and it's because of plays like that. Ooh. I mean, he is a marvel. And we're getting to the point now where almost anything hit in his radius. It's going to turn into an out. That was spectacular. Another good shortstop at the plate now, Zach Neto. Nine hitter coming off a, a fun series in Miami, his hometown. He had uh, over 100 fans at Monday's game. A three game sweep for the Angels. How many do you have here tonight? <laughs> Just you, my friend. <laughs> There's a pop up by Neto. First baseman Tristan Casas backs up behind it. He'll make the catch. Two away in the bottom of the third. Four nothing Red Sox. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. <laughs> From the WEEI Studios, 93.7 WEEI-FM and HD1, Lawrence, Boston. Always live on the free Odyssey app. With Will Fleming, I'm Tyler Murray. You may have heard some boos coming out of that ID. It's for Anthony Rendon. Base is empty, two down. He will take a high cutter as he looks for his first hit of the season. He is 0 for 20 with a walk. People around the Angels will tell you that he deserves better. He's had a lot of hard contact, but no hits yet. 1-0 underneath the hands. That's a called strike on the inside corner. Another cutter. If, ifs and buts. Right. Apples nuts. Mm -hmm. The 1-1. One, one. This is high with a sweeper that time. He just did himself no favors by opening his mouth in the offseason. When you make this kind of money, you cannot complain about how long the baseball season is. Cannot do it. He said, baseball's never been a top priority for me. 2-1, Rendon sprays one foul. And uh, Ron Washington, his manager, as every good manager does, helped clean it up in the media. His response was, well, all Rendon said was, priority one is my family, and tied for second or first is my faith, and then it's baseball. But yes, uh, it was not received well. Righty on righty, the kick, the one-two pitch. That one's popped into the seats again to the first base side. I think almost everybody in this game would agree with that. It's not like people value the game over their families. It's just the way that it was presented, especially given the money he's making. This did not come off well. He's played in just 30% of their games the last two years, and a third straight foul ball keeps this 2-2 count where it's at. I know a lot of people who know him well. He's a very pleasant, easygoing guy. I mean, he just sort of said the... 
the hard part, the truth out loud, and uh -huh. he is hearing it from these fans. He's third in the NL MVP voting 2019, Anthony Rendon. Another 2-2, two -two. another foul ball. And of course, he won the World Series for the Nationals that year, so it didn't surprise anyone when he got that big deal, but it, it quickly became a bit of an albatross. Well, not only that, he had enormous swings in that entire postseason run for the Mets. Batting now with the bases empty and two down. 2-2 two -two from Crawford. A fifth consecutive foul ball from Anthony Rendon. And at the Nationals team, the ultimate example of you know, don't bail on your baseball team until at least the All-Star break. They're around a 500 team at that point, and they turned things around and stunned the Astros in the Fall Classic, in large part because of this guy. Another 2-2, roped foul down the third baseline, and maybe we're building to Rendon's first hit of the season with foul ball number six. It's going to be a 10-pitch at-bat. Not building to that. He's going to strike out. But listen, <laughs> I, think about being a, a Nats fan. Harper gone, Schwarber gone, Strasburg the worst contract in baseball history. Rendon gone. Crawford nods his head. Tenth pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a pop-up. Looks like it's playable behind first base. Casas ranges back, straddling the foul line. He'll make the grab. And Cutter Crawford has a 1-2-3 third inning. And he's gotten there on just 43 pitches. It's Red Sox 4, Angels nothing. We'll go to the fourth on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. Got dings, dents, scratches, or faded paint? Mako's got you covered. Refresh your ride with your refund during our tax season event because your car deserves to shine. Head to Mako.com to schedule your estimate today. Uh-oh, better get Mako. Hey, it's Fitzy from Six Rings and Football Things. It's not just a podcast. It's the 25th hour of the day. Your weekly source for all things New England Patriots right on time. Your time. In the car, navigate the streets of the NFL offseason with wisdom in your ear. We accompany every errand you need to run. Washing the windows or vacuuming the carpets? Don't just clean, conquer. Podcasts make you more productive because we fit perfectly into your schedule. Follow Six Rings and Football Things in the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. This is Matt Spiegel, and we are off and running with Season 2 of the PBP, Voices of Baseball. The very best play-by-play -play voices in the game talk about their craft. Hear guests like Joe Davis explain the thought process during baseball's biggest games. you got to widen the lens. What does this home run mean? Harper, the swing of his life! Incredible broadcasters sharing great stories from your favorite teams with new episodes weekly. Find us on the Odyssey app or wherever you find podcasts. Add some sizzle to your next special occasion with the Kansas City Steak Company. The most tender, world-class premium steaks delivered right to your door. Get 15% off plus free shipping right now at KansasCitySteaks.com. Use promo code DR15. When you're high, you feel different. You think different, you talk different, you draw different, you listen to music different, but you probably knew that. Problem is, you also drive different, and not in a good way. That's why driving high is illegal everywhere. So if you're high, just don't drive. Make a plan to get a sober ride. Because if you feel different, you drive different. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Want to listen to WEEI on the go? Just download the Odyssey app. Now back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. First pitch of the fourth inning is a strike to Sedan Rafaela. Four nothing Red Sox. Three homers doing the damage in the second inning. Rafaela came in after being hit by a pitch. And he hits this one foul. Behind the first base dugout for the Red Sox. It was Reese McGuire who knocked him in with a 392 foot blast to right. Canning still out there. Here comes his 60 second pitch. It's an 0 2. And it just misses outside. Fastball at 92. The fourth inning is brought to you by Cars for Kids. Donate your car and help a child today. Schedule your free pickup at 877 Cars for Kids or at carsforkids.com. That's Cars with a K. Righty on righty. Hand over the head wind up from Canning. And the 1 2 pitch is chopped to third base, but it kicks foul. And the count will stay 1 and 2. Rafael hustling down the line, but it'll come on back to the dish. 
Red Sox baseball also brought to you by your New England Ford dealers. Now during truck month, get a great deal on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 47 years straight. And the official truck of your Boston Red Sox. Now the one to the Rafaela. Fouls it straight back. Fastball at 92. Five hits this year for Sedan in 23 at-bats. He's got a double, a triple, seven Ks. He does have a walk. He's not going to break any records in the base on balls department this year. Continues to be an improving part of his game. One, two is rolled to shortstop. Zach Neto is there, sure-handed as ever. The throw is good as well. And a stretch from Sean O'Well retires Rafaela 6-3 to, to start the fourth. But for Rafael, it's just fun to see him continue to develop with something like pitch selection. It's a tangible thing that fans can watch and listen to every single night. When he first came up to AAA last year, I think the joke was he was swinging at everything, including the rosin bat. That's a Rich Gedman line. Here's Reese McGuire. Takes the first pitch breaking ball down and in. I love Getty. I mean, a great all-time Red Sox hitter. Joe Castiglione continues to say that he's very rarely in all of his 42 years seen a guy hit the ball harder than Getty did. That's why he's been a hitting coach forever. 1-0. Curveball low. Salt to the earth. Worcester guy who really does help so many young hitters. I adore him. I mean, I've had so many great conversations with Rich. Red Sox Hall of Famer. 2-0. McGuire watches a changeup on the outside half for a strike. And all of us feel so bad about, you know, the star-crossed history that he and Bob Stanley were part of in 1986. Stayed with both of them for a long time. 2-1 to McGuire. Foul back. I'll never forget it. We were in the dugout in Buffalo one day, and Rich and I had a lot of long conversations. and It's the only kind of conversation you have. It is. It's the best. and You, know, you have to let him get into telling stories about himself because he's just not one of those people. Very humble. 2-2 Two -two to McGuire. Fastball high, full count. Particularly around some of the more painful memories, whether personal or professional. And he was telling me about that, that game at Shea Stadium. This is the uh, 1986 World Series Game 6 Bill Buckner game. Payoff to McGuire. Uh, mm. Fastball he wasn't ready for, right? Down the middle at 93, called third strike, and it's K number four for Griffin Cannon. So Steamer's on the mound. Rich is behind the dish, and as the inning carries on, that fateful ninth inning. Both of them had lost their fathers that year. Wow. And both are local guys, and both are about to break the curse of Babe Ruth. And Rich went out to the mound to say something to Steamer. Here's Jaron Duran back to the top of the order. Bases empty, two down, swing and a miss, strike one. He went out and he put his arm on Bob's shoulder and he said, Bob, both our dads are in heaven watching us about to win the World Series for the Red Sox. So you can imagine the emotion that followed. 0-1. Fastball inside, 1-1. One one. But as you know, I mean, that's the kind of thing that occurs to Rich, which, I mean, think about it. The world's flying around you. You're about to realize a lifelong dream, which, of course, didn't pan out that way, but still, to have the wherewithal to do that. He's a profound man, Getty. 1-1 one, one is chopped to the right side. Three hopper to Brandon Drury, the second baseman. He'll underhand it to first. And Duran is retired. Griffin Canning has a 1-2-3 inning for the first time tonight. It is 4-0 Red Sox after three and a half in Anaheim. On the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh-oh, better get Mako. Baseball is back, basketball is heating up, and the NFL Draft is right around the corner. Listen to the latest on the teams you love with the free Odyssey app. The biggest sports radio stations in the country providing unrivaled local coverage of their teams all in one place. Exclusive interviews with players, coaches, and team executives streaming live and always available on demand. Stay in the know with your favorite teams with Odyssey. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Download the free Odyssey app today. Baseball isn't boring. Let's welcome in Red Sox pitcher Tanner Houck. I think we're at like pretty close to like max, like what the human body can do. 
Like, I don't know how much more we can really get out of out of the human body in terms of baseball pitching wise. But now I think you're gonna see, you know, people throwing sliders at 20 horizontal at like 88. MLB the show type stuff. Baseball is boring. Available on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcast. Your green lawn starts right now at Rocky's Ace Hardware with Scott's Four Step. One lush green lawn, four easy steps. Spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Get to Rocky's now for instant savings up to $75 off the full program. Scott's Four Step gives you fertilizer, insect and rodent control, and protection against weeds, fungus, and disease. Buy now at Rocky's and save big for the season. Rocky's also has mulch, soil, rakes, shovels, and tools. Rocky's Ace Hardware. Your home for hardware and more. Find your store at Rockies.com. This is Alex Cora. You are listening to the home of the Red Sox, WEEI. Bottom of the fourth inning in Anaheim. It is opening night at Angel Stadium. Phenomenal crowd here in Southern California. And the Red Sox lead the Angels 4 0. Cutter Crawford returns to the mound. All four runs and all four hits in this game belong to the Red Sox. See if Crawford can fill the zone a bit with some more first pitch strikes. And he does. That's the uh, first round pick from last year, Nolan Shawnawell. The 11th batter Crawford's face. That's just the fourth first pitch strike, but obviously a clean sheet to this point regardless. 0-1. Pops the mid outside at 93. Shawnawell went down looking at a 94 mile an hour fastball his first time up. That was a 15 pitch, 1 2 3 first inning for Crawford. He struck out Rendon swinging on a sweeper and then got the heater by Shawnawa. 1 1 pitch is rolled foul off the dugout rail, Red Sox side on the first base end. So it's 1 and 2. Well, Shawnawa, he's working on a 35 game on base streak to begin his career, which is the third longest to begin a career in the history of the game. And he kept it going in dramatic fashion on Wednesday. 1-2, check swing, foul. He came in in the sixth inning because of Henry Renjifo was a feeling lightheaded. And he only got two at-bats. Mm. First time he was retired, and then he came up in the ninth. He was hit by a pitch. So 35 consecutive games reaching base for Nolan Shonowell, who is 3 for 17 to start the year. 1-2 pitches, rope down the right field line, but foul. Hardest hit ball we've seen today from an Angels batter. The crowd hasn't had a whole lot to cheer about. I always think those are unfair. Like if you got a long streak of any kind, come in late in the game. Yes. Like as a pinch hitter, if you got a 20 gamer going, I know managers try to stay away from it, but sometimes it's your best player, tight game late. I called him Henry Renhifo. It's Luis Renhifo. Crawford's one two pitches, chopped right back to him. Away for the second big hop. Love it. Flip it to first, and Sean Owell is 0 for 2, one away to begin the fourth. His friend's gone, Henry. That's right. <laughs> one of the things I love about Cutter, he's so cool on the mound. And that's a play that sometimes I think pitchers might take a faulty step on, overreact a little bit, speed it up. He just sat there, waited calmly, and fielded and hucked it to first. Now he's got to deal with Mike Trout. Popped out to the catcher his first time. Trout swings late at a first pitch fastball. So maybe we're seeing a bit of what Crawford was talking about after that start against the Mariners. Everybody asking, why aren't you throwing your fastball more? He said that's the scouting report that the Mariners struggle with secondary stuff. That's what we threw. Hmm. 0-1 is a sweeper dotted on the outside corner to Trout, so no balls and two strikes. Did you see Trout's home run er Ooh. earlier this week? What was it 475? Longest home run in the major leagues by far this year. 0-2. Swings and slices one foul. It was breathtaking. It was actually the uh, second home run in as many at-bats. Back-to-back. You know, -back. Last year, the longest home run in the majors was hit by another angel, Shohei Otani. 493. 0-2. Trout takes a fastball high. And then he had his goons go get the baseball and <laughs> offer to pay less money for the value of the ball and said, I will meet with you and then not meet with you. Sign a ball and a bat. Been a rough couple weeks for Shohei. 
Trout takes one up by the ears, ball two. I mean, he's the supernova of the game. He's a wonderful, talented player, and by all accounts, man. But there have been some unforced errors by him and his entire team of late. I'll bet you he needs the fan eventually. 2-2 two, two to Trout. Swing and a pop fly. Foul territory down the right field line. That's going to get five rows deep. Like, why say that if you didn't? In the same way after the Ipe gambling scandal, why change the story in 12 hours? It just does not make sense. I wish I had an answer for you, Will Fleming. Mike Trout batting with the bases empty and one down. He Ooh. swings and rips one foul. This one is going to get all the way to the upper deck over to our left, which is a packed upper deck here tonight. Great showing from these Angel fans. Uh, this will be the biggest crowd they have all year. It will. Opening night, team on a four-game winning streak. Mike Trout, 32 years old. How many more opening nights will he have? And you said it off the top of the broadcast, all the way through the peak of his prime, only got to play in three playoff games. 4-0 Red Sox bottom of the fourth, the 2-2 pitch. Trout hits one hard on the left side. Oh. Diving stop by Story, but he falls oh. down in shallow left, and he's hurt. Oh. It'll be a single for Trout, but Story's in pain. Oh, no. Reaching for that left arm, left shoulder. He fell on it as he was extending fully, trying to make a phenomenal play. And Alex Core and company out to take a look at it. You hear the reaction from Will Fleming. and Absolute nightmare. Yep. I mean, this is a shoulder that popped out or a collarbone oh. for a guy that has gotten hot, who is so key to everything the Red Sox have done, whose entire time here has been marred by injury. You just can tell by the reaction from a player. And not only Trevor wincing in pain, immediately Rafi Devers looked alarmed for a, a game and a week that has started so well, this is an absolute nightmare. Shots of Garrett Whitlock and Nick Pavetta in the dugout. Trevor is beloved on this club. He has worked as hard as anyone. He sets the tone for this team, and he is in excruciating pain on the field. It started in the offseason. He, he hosted an infield camp. He was the vocal leader in spring training. Mm. So many things have gone well for the Red Sox to start this season. Their expectations they weren't blowing anybody away. And he's been such a big part of a, a pleasantly surprising good start. And well, he's seated up now. You just have to wait and hope because yeah. we always gauge it on the player's reaction. They know their bodies better than everybody. And now he's got that left arm sort of slumping down as he walks off the field. And he can't move his arm. He is almost literally kind of on the brink of tears. Alex Cora's got his arm around him. We've seen this too many times. And again, you just pray for better news, but that looks like a disaster. And his teammates are wearing that emotion on their faces. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a, a collective response from teammates during an injury like we're seeing here. Heads hung People shaking their heads, and that includes Trevor Story right now. Mm. Eyes closed, shaking his head from left to right. And if there are tears, you can imagine it's maybe frustration more than pain. All the work he's put in to try to get back to the field as he's escorted to the clubhouse. Mm. So it's a big diving opportunity that so few people would even attempt. He extended his left arm on a backhand dive, and all of the weight of his body went down on that fully extended left arm and he immediately grabbed toward his left shoulder and it's just not that hard to read what that is and and again we're not doctors we're not in the speculation business but you you just have to right now hope that it's more of a separation kind of a strain than a dislocation because that looked awful Pablo Reyes coming in at the shortstop position. And in the third spot of the batting order. Hmm. It's a bit of a party atmosphere here with thousands of Red Sox fans. Three home runs on the fourth, but 
Well, that apparent injury for Trevor Story has dampened the mood. A single for Trout. He's on first for the cleanup man, Taylor Ward. 4-0 Red Sox, bottom of the fourth inning. And Cutter Crawford working from the stretch. Fires a cutter to the top of the zone, a called strike. Well, there's the you know, on-field component, which you can't overstate. He's already made one brilliant play in this game, five or six this year that most mortal shortstops do not make. 0-1. Oh, Ward takes inside with a fastball. Started to really swing it. I mean, we, we saw what he did in Colorado. He can change this whole team. You can see Alex Cora from here just so concerned about a guy that he adores who really is a tone setter for this club. A ball and a strike to Ward. He fouls it back. And again, then there's just the personal side where this guy is trying so hard to really make a statement in Boston who made the huge commitment to him. Um, again, we'll wait and see and hope, but it's just so hard to see a guy who's put in so much have a freakish thing like that happen. He told Alex Cora about a week ago that he wanted to play 155 games this year. And we will wait for uh, any news. Hopefully that's still in play, but it did not mm. look good as Rafaela tries to get a beach ball off the field. It takes a few whacks, and the wind is actually pushing it back onto the warning track. So on the fourth try, he gets it over the fence so he can keep playing baseball. I don't think he or any of the Red Sox are really in the mood for that at the moment. The play resumes. And as Crawford comes set, he's got a man at first, one down for Taylor Ward. A long look in, and now the one-two. Ward swings and misses strike three. Throw to first behind the runner, not in time. But Crawford climbs the ladder with a cutter. To get strikeout number two, down goes Ward. Brandon Drury is introduced. Bounced into a fielder's choice his first time. Hmm. He's so indispensable for everything that kind of defines this team, too. Pivotal behind this sort of revamped pitching staff. A lot is riding on... The health of Trevor Story, that's for sure. Two out, one on for Brandon Jury, who fouls back the first pitch fastball. You know, there's not much positive to come from that. But if there's any silver lining, it's that you got a guy in Rafaela who's out in center field now who can play a pretty elite shortstop. 0-1, cutting a miss, sweeper 82. But... It's almost like subtraction by addition, where you know the two of them up the middle are so valuable. That, you know, taking him out of center field really weakens your defense. Well, it sounds like Vaughn Grissom and Rob Repsnyder are close. Romy Gonzalez is having a great start at shortstop in AAA. They're not Trevor Story. Not close. O2, down and away. Today, it is Reyes who fills in for Story at shortstop. I just wonder what's going through his mind in that clubhouse as he gets examined by the Red Sox. I'm sure there'll be, you know, x-rays and images taken. If he, he didn't hear the play at the time, he dove in shallow left, and the full weight of his body went down on that left arm. One, two, a sweeper away. Two balls and two strikes. And it's, uh, you know, <laughs> it's almost like he's cursed by being such a good athlete. Like, most regular shortstops don't even attempt that play. Yeah. And so he's so overextended. He's such a freak that he can get to it. 2-2 two -two pitch. Struck him out on a high fastball. So back-to-back -back Ks for Cutter Crawford to wrap up, well, a fourth inning that will hopefully uh, be remembered for a scare and not a devastating injury. We'll keep you posted as much as we can on Trevor's story. Red Sox have a 4 nothing lead after four in Anaheim. On the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI, Red Sox Network. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this? Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, 
Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives and drive. Baseball is back, basketball is heating up, and the NFL Draft is right around the corner. Listen to the latest on the teams you love with the free Odyssey app. The biggest sports radio stations in the country providing unrivaled local coverage of their teams, all in one place. Exclusive interviews with players, coaches, and team executives, streaming live and always available on demand. Stay in the know with your favorite teams with Odyssey, A-U-D-A-C-Y. Download the free Odyssey app today. Hey, it's Fitzy from Six Rings and Football Things. It's not just a podcast, it's the 25th hour of the day. Your weekly source for all things New England Patriots, right on time. Your time. In the car? Navigate the streets of the NFL offseason with wisdom in your ear. We accompany every errand you need to run. Washing the windows or vacuuming the carpets? Don't just clean. Conquer. Podcasts make you more productive because we fit perfectly into your schedule. Follow Six Rings and Football Things in the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Take Boston sports with you wherever you go. Download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. Rafi Devers leading off the fifth, and he takes ball one. A pitch down and in to him from Griffin Canning. Pablo Reyes is on deck, and that is significant because he's in Trevor Story's spot in the lineup. Trevor lifted from the game after what looked like an awful shoulder or arm injury as Rafi takes a pitch that... This is low and outside, and it's 2-0. and oh. It's just hard to overstate the ripple effect of that injury to Story. 2-0. and oh. He helps Rafi so much on the left side, the pitch. Down and in. And you know in the Red Sox dugout, it, it's a very difficult period. they got to try to turn the page a little bit. They're all so invested in Trevor. 3-0 to Devers. Always the green light for him. The pitch. Swing and a hard ground ball foul on the first base side. He's just at the center of everything that this team is and wants to be. Story is. Three and one to Devers leading off the fifth. Canning at the belt. Winds and throws. And Rafi swings and pops it up. Shallow left field back into the shortstop Neto. And on the run, a very nice play. Actually got out into left field. He grabs it, does Neto. And Devers, who was ahead 3 0, is retired. So one down for Reyes. Craig Breslow and Brian O'Halloran are here. With the Red Sox in Anaheim and both a couple boots over to our left. And Almost the minute that Trevor went into the clubhouse, both followed him there. Brian has since returned, but Craig has not. Here's Pablo. Had a good start to his season. He takes a strike on the outside corner, 0-1. But when you combine the on-field impact of Trevor defensively at the plate and then just his presence as a veteran leader, the 0-1 to Pablo inside, he really is. I mean, right there with Devers, about the most indispensable part of the aspirations of this team. We've seen that in the first week already. One and one to Pablo. Pitch is a strike on the outside corner. Yeah, it's one and two. So all we can do now is hope that the reactions, the initial pain, do not portend what they appear to. That would be a significant absence for Trevor Story. One and two to Pablo, the pitch upstairs. He takes a fastball, and it's two and two. I just can't get over the reaction from the rest of the yep. team. Based off that alone, that doesn't tell you the severity of the injury, but it tells you how much Trevor Story means to this group. Nobody works harder than the two-two. He is low. And just from the jump, and he was so free and easy this year after finally having a fully healthy offseason of course the internal brace procedure a couple years ago three and two to pablo reyes one down in the fifth here's the pitch and he pops it up into the seats on the foul side third and out of play he's second in the herb chambers batting order brought to you by herb chambers honda boston and honda burlington we want to remind you by the way that 
even though it might not feel like it. It's a good time to get to Shaw's and Star Market right now. Get value pack 80% lean fresh ground beef for 93% lean Shady Book Farms ground turkey, 277 a pound. 3 2 is outside. Good take by Pablo. That's ball four. Use the digital coupon limit too. Shaw's and Star Market, official supermarket of the Red Sox network. Now it's always a good time to take advantage of those deals. But just not in the mood for anything happy right now. Red Sox have three home runs, four runs. They lead the Angels 4 0. Here is Masataka Yoshida. One on and one out. Canning throws, and Masa takes outside to change up, and it's 1 0. As it Suarez up for the second time in the game. And, you know, not all players, not all injuries are created equal. I do think there's a real challenge in that Red Sox dugout right now. Throw to first, and Pablo dives back in. Had, I mean, he is beloved in there. He really is. He sets the tone. He's humble, quiet most of the time, but he leads by example. And they are feeling it right now. And all of them, I know, are wondering what's going on in the Red Sox clubhouse. 1 0 to Massa. Here's the pitch. Swinging a high drive into left field. This ball is crushed. Back in at Ward, just in front of the wall. He's there to make the play. In front of the 390 marker, Massa really gave that a ride. And maybe in June that gets out, but not here, not tonight. It's a loud second out, and it'll bring up Tyler O'Neill. Yeah, good swing there from Yoshida. It was a fastball up and in, and he's able to, up and out actually, he's able to drive it the other way. It really feels like they need to burst offensively. You know, if that one clears the fence, it changes the energy in that dugout. The guy who could give it to him. And Tyler O'Neill, who's already homered once today. The pitch up and in, almost hit him. 90 mile an hour changeup. So Canning has now thrown 89 pitches. He's not much longer for this game. Caitlin Clark in Iowa with just over three seconds to go in that game. Lead UConn. 71 69. It looks like the Hawkeyes are going to win that game. After just a really rough first half, it picked up in the second stanza. And Clark and Iowa headed to the finals. 1 0 to Tyler O'Neill. 4 0 Sox in the fifth. Here is a strike on the outside corner. Breaking pitch. And it is 1 and 1. Code word of the game California Angels. The code amalgam of letters. California Angels, make sure to enter your code word in the member portal today to claim your points. O'Neal rips one into right field. That's a base hit. Pablo easily around second. He'll breeze into third base. Tyler is two for three tonight. Really swinging it. And now the Red Sox have him at the corners with two down for Tristan Casas. Love to see O'Neal going the other way with a curveball that time. This was actually off the plate, so he just flips it out there between first and second. Nicely done. He much more than just an incredibly jacked home run hitter. He's got a feel for his swing, and he might have just uh, got it into the bullpen. No question. Ron Washington coming out. Suarez going to come in for these Angels. Sox trying to pour it on here. They lead 4 to nothing, and tonight they've lost Trevor Story, who would look like a very significant injury. Well, now get into the Angel bullpen. 4 nothing. top five. Casas has a chance after this in the Shaw's and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. Hey, it's Fourier. As we gear up for air conditioning season, beat the rush by contacting McFarland Energy to day to upgrade your AC system. Thinking about ductless for that free season room? They've got you covered. And mention WEI to save $500 on any AC install. North Shore, Greater Boston, to the Cape. Homeowners, trust McFarland for top-notch home heating oil delivery and HVAC services. Learn more at McFarlandEnergy.com and be sure to ask about BioHeat, a much cleaner alternative. You've reached Monster Bank. Please enter your 35-digit account number. I don't have it. State your name. Jim Robbins. Okay, Mr. Blobkins, how can we help you? It's Robbins. You said pay off my mortgage. I'll transfer you. No, 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 no. I need to open a small business account. But I full head Bellamet Monster Bank. <sighs> if your bank doesn't understand you, that's bull****. Now there's a bank helping small businesses succeed. Owner's Bank. All business, no bull****. Learn more at ownersbank.com. Owner's Bank is a division of Liberty Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
Hey, Sox fans, there are a lot of reasons to love being a Ford owner. And now, Ford Pickup and Delivery is one more. Just tell your dealer when and where you'd like to have your Ford picked up, home or work, and we'll come get it, service it, and return it to you. Ford Pickup and Delivery is part of U-Mode, benefits made just for Ford owners. See your participating Ford dealer for important program details and terms and conditions. Ford, official partner of the Boston Red Sox. Take Boston sports with you wherever you go. Download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. Jose Suarez, the left-hander, is on here for the Angels and Ron Washington in the top of the fifth inning. Red Sox leading. The Angels 4 to nothing. Chance here for Tristan Casas, who homered his first time, walked his second. Suarez pitching for the third time. Injury riddled 23. The left-hander sets with the bounty throws, and Tristan takes outside. He's looking very comfortable. Here's Casas, and it's 1-0. and Suarez, previous two seasons, was a really dependable starter for the Angels, but a shoulder injury cost him more than 100 games a year ago. 1-0 to Tristan. Pitch. Oh, swinging a foul right at his feet. He'd like to have that one back. It was 89 right in the heart of the plate. And it's one and one. He has put on some weight as Suarez. He is not normally this portly. Left-hander into the bullpen for these Angels. And the time is called by Logan O'Hoppy. Trying to maybe set the defense with uh, runners at first and third. 110th pitch of this game brought to you by 110 Grill. Gluten-free dining done right. 110 Grill is an official partner of the WEEI Red Sox Network. Four nothing with runners at first and third. One and one to Casas. Here's the pitch. Inside. It's a good sign for Tristan, who walked earlier in this ball game and really has had a couple of at bats taken away from him by umpires who've particularly given the strike beneath the zone. He's really seeing the ball well right now. Two and one, the pitch. Swing and a miss. That was a hanging slider. Just high enough. Top of the zone for Suarez, and it's two and two. Yeah, well, you're talking about with those tough calls in Oakland. I think that's the first time we've ever seen him react so visibly yeah. to a tough call third strike. I don't blame him. It's almost like the Aaron Judge treatment. These umpires, the catchers being so effective at framing stealing strikes the tall hitter is victimized more than others 2-2 swing and a miss he got him that was a really good slider and Tristan is gone we go to the bottom of the fifth four nothing Red Sox Shaw's the star market WEI Red Sox network at Enterprise we know you're constantly on the move getting this thanks mom fixing that you reach a destination and then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. Baseball is back, basketball is heating up, and the NFL Draft is right around the corner. Listen to the latest on the teams you love with the free Odyssey app. The biggest sports radio stations in the country providing unrivaled local coverage of their teams, all in one place. Exclusive interviews with players, coaches, and team executives, streaming live and always available on demand. Stay in the know with your favorite teams with Odyssey. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Download the free Odyssey app today. Why does ordering food for work require so much work? Actually, Easy Cater makes ordering food for your next meeting way easier. Easy to order with over 100,000 restaurants online from national chains to local favorites. Easy to get what you need with options to meet any taste or dietary need. Easy to stay on top of your food spend with tools that help you stay on budget. And it's easy to rely on with 24 seven support to make sure everything goes right. But if there's a problem, Thanks for calling Easy Cater. Call us anytime, day or night, and we'll answer in seconds. Whether you need food for client lunches, team meetings, sales calls, or company events, find out why thousands of companies, from nonprofits to the Fortune 500, rely on Easy Cater. Food for work has to work.
and we're right here to make sure it does. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. More Boston sports opinion, more often. Just download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. Cutter Crawford back to the mound for the bottom of the fifth inning. Sox having fun in most ways tonight in Anaheim. 4 0 the score. Miguel Sano, the hitter, massive right hander. So much power takes inside for ball one. He's three for 14 in the early going is Sano, the longtime star for the Minnesota Twins. I don't know. Hi. That's ball two. The subject as a 16 year old of a wonderful documentary. Pelotero was called about the life of young teens in the Dominican, working with agents, trying out, trying to find their way. The 2-0 he is a little bit high with a fastball from Crawford. He's used that pitch a lot, and it's 3-0. There are very few people in the last 10, 15 years who've had more raw power than this guy, Sano. 3-0. That's right there, but called a ball. A little bit low, maybe. A four-pitch walk from Crawford. Even like that reaction from a home plate umpire, and it's a leadoff walk to Sano. That's his first walk of the game, and just the fourth walk by Red Sox starting pitching in over 40 innings this year. It's amazing. It sort of stuns you when they do it. I'm stunned right now, but I have seen that, <laughs> that documentary, Pelotero. Amazing. Spanish word for ball player. They covered a lot of players who didn't get $3 million signing bonuses like Sano. Yeah, no kidding. Here's Mickey Moniak. He takes a strike on the outside corner. It was fun being down in Santo Domingo to kind of get a first-hand look at Santo Domingo and the crazy odds these guys face yeah. trying to get here to this stage. 0-1 to Moniak, the pitch. The former Phillies first-round pick is fouled off on the first base side. It's 0-2. Alex Beer had a really good article in spring training about Brian Bayo and what he had to go through in the Dominican as kind of a late bloomer. Kind of the same vibe as that documentary you mentioned if you, you don't have two hours to watch a film. You have one meal with Spear and you're already buttering him up. It's 0-2 <laughs> to Moniak. So no at first, the pitch. Ripped foul outside of first. That was wonderful. I mean, he went out to the academy. He spent a full week. You know, the Red Sox got there. On that off day, the Friday, played Saturday, Sunday, came home. Alex was down there the whole week and really dug deep into, in particular, as you say, Bayo's story, his trainer, his life moving away from his mother and aunt. 0-2, oh, the pitch. Foul back. This is a key sequence here for Cutter. I mean, the Red Sox do lead 4 nothing, but Crawford has now thrown 75 pitches. Nobody up in the bullpen yet. It is remarkable, though, the sacrifices those young kids make. And two to Mickey Monia. Casas holding Sano at first. He's no threat to run the pitch. That's got to be in there. And it is. Strike three call on the inside corner. Moniak like a statue, but that was right on the inside corner. That's Cutter's fifth strikeout. And there's one away. Love how he's going after Moniak today. But coming in, he faced Moniak just once before. And he gave up a home run. That was last year, but he's not messing around. Paints there at 94. You said a big sequence, and he delivers. So now here's Logan O'Happy. Got it out his first time, batting from the right side, and he takes a strike on the inside corner. Cutter's spinning it right now. It's amazing. Last time out against the Mariners, he was spin heavy the first time through, then really started to introduce the four seam fastball, which is such a weapon. And now kind of a more traditional approach. Fastball's early and now spin. The 0-1, swing and a miss. That's a big time sweeper and it's 0-2. Uh, we talked about how Craig Breslow and Brian O'Halloran are here. One of the reasons they did not feel compelled to go make a deep splash into the free agent market with Scott Boris, who's here tonight. 0-2 is just outside. Man, very close on a sweeper is that they felt like in Pavetta and Crawford. They had high upside guys just starting to enter their kind of prime years. So far, that has proven to be true. One out in the fifth, the one-two. Up the middle and into center field. That's the base hit. Rafaela circles around it. He'll get there. It's a knock for Ohapi. And for the first time all night, the Angels have two men aboard. 
with one out for Zach Neto. He probably is not going to make that play, but it's the first moment all season where you've said, man, would have been fun to see Trevor's story out there. It's short. Instead, it's Pablo, and it shoots through. Angels have two aboard. And hopefully we don't have to say that too often. But, yes, the injury did not look good a couple of innings ago. Just the second hit given up by Crawford, seeing eye ground ball. Maybe if you're at double play depth, that's an easier play for Reyes. But they thought Ohapi was going to hit one in the hole. So here is Neto, who popped out the first, his first time. O'Neill very deep in right field, actually. Pitch. High fly into left field, but it hangs up. Duran in front of the warning track is there to make the play. In time. Two down, and that's the nine-hole hitter getting it a little bit out toward the end, and that's a, an exhale for Cutter. Probably his first mistake on a first pitch. It's a, a hanging sweeper, and Neto is ready for it, but didn't quite get all of it. 95 off the bat, but straight at Jaron Duran. So now the third time through begins with Rendon, who again is greeted with booze. It's been such a brilliant, fun, carefree start for these Red Sox of this season. That has changed with what happened to Trevor's story. The pitch to Rendon is in the dirt for ball one. I mean, even the look on Alex Cora's face has changed. I mean, he's obviously grinding on this game. He's locked into what Cutter's doing on the mound, but... He's been so easygoing and happy and so invested in all these guys and even more so on some level in story because he knows what he means to this team. 1-0 is a cutter that misses high. And that is ball two. And this is another reminder of how it's nice to face this Angels team without Otani in the order because in years past, he'd be standing on deck. 4-0 Sox. The 2-0 is high. Cutter sees a 3-0 count here. There is activity beginning in the bullpen. I think if he loses Rendon here, almost certainly we'd see Andrew Bailey. I think it's Greg Weiser who's up and throwing. 3-0. Cutter steps off. And remember, it took 11 pitches to get Rendon on a pop-out his last time up. He's not going to make life easy on Crawford up 3-0. 84 pitches thrown, the exact number he threw in his season debut. 3-0. That's right there. Fastball piped at the top of the zone, and it's 3-1. And and Subaru of New England scoreboard. The Blue Jays beat the Yankees 3-0. Detroit keeps it going. They're 6-1. They beat the A's 5-4. Craig Monroe, their television color analyst, were the best sport cut I've ever seen in that game. The 3-1. Inside, he walked him. And that's ball four. We'll see if we do see Andrew Bailey, and here he comes. And this is a, obviously a dual-purpose visit. Second walk by Crawford of the inning and on the night. He wants to give Cutter a little break, but he also wants to buy as much time as possible for Weissert out there on the bullpen. This is the left-handed hitting Shawnawell. And... I think almost certainly, no matter what, this will be Crawford's last hitter. And, of course, it was so encouraging to see him go six innings last week because the big question is, can he go deeper in games after averaging just 4.2 innings per outing a season ago? Only went six five times last year. And the key for him in Seattle was that he retired 15 of the last 16 batters he faced. Really finished strong, and it's going to be tough to have that same strong finish here with the uh, Two walks and a single in the fifth. And as you said, the Rendon at bat, one of many that was just eternal here with the bases loaded. The pitch misses outside. The sweeper, this is just not real sharp from Cutter. Bases loaded in the bottom of the fifth. Sox leading four to nothing, but in a real bind here from the belt. Cutter's 1 0. High with a fastball. Not the same finish. And it's 2-0. Oh. That's where he's missing right now. Everything is up with the fastball. Needs a strike here. Angels at every base. Here's the 2-0. Oh. That's low. Cutter. And it's 3-0. Oh. It's a guy who is such a fierce competitor. 
Snedder does not have it. And now, as you can tell, these fans are into it and they come to their feet. Another one of the new baseball. Glove off under the right arm, rubbing it up with two bare hands. Base is loaded, 3-0 the pitch. That's outside ball four. Cutter walks in a run, and that'll do it for him. Alex Cora is coming out. Now, for this club that has been so great in starting pitching, issuing so few walks, Cutter three in the inning, and he clearly just ran out of gas in this fifth inning. So he is done. A run in. It's 4-1 Red Sox. And what a moment this is about to be for Greg Weissard. Coming out of the Red Sox bullpen trying to keep the Sox ahead. Loaded up with two down. 4-1 Boston. Crawford out. Weissard in. More from Anaheim after this. In the Shaws and Star Market. WEI Red Sox Network. During this call to the bullpen, it's the perfect time to check out all the great content at buyfordnow.com. Find Ford offers you won't see advertised anywhere else. Search Ford dealer inventory for your dream vehicle. Compare Ford SUVs, trucks, and electric vehicles versus the competition. Calculate your trade-in value and learn about exclusive offers for military and first responders. So, visit buyfordnow.com and then see your New England Ford dealers. Have you been putting off new windows for your home? Now is the time to visit CCL in Abington. We've partnered with Matthews Brothers in Maine to bring you the best in windows. Matthews Brothers has been making windows since 1854. Come check out our line of wicked awesome windows from Matthews Brothers at CCL in Abington. Make your home energy efficient in 2024 with Matthews Brothers windows. Check us out online at capecodlumber.com or visit the CCL showroom in Abington today. We are 100% employee owned and operated. You've reached Monster Bank. Please enter your 35-digit account number. I don't have it. State your name. Jim Robbins. Okay, Mr. Blobkins. How can we help you? It's Robbins. You said pay off my mortgage. I'll transfer you. No, 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 no. I need to open a small business account. Bird eye forehead bellum at Monster Bank. If your bank doesn't understand you, that's bull****. Now there's a bank helping small businesses succeed. Owner's Bank. All business, no bull****. Learn more at ownersbank.com. Owner's Bank is a division of Liberty Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. You're listening to the Sox on the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI, Red Sox Radio Network. Now, back to the play-by-play action. Greg Weiser, welcome to your first crucible moment with the Boston Red Sox. The bases are loaded for Mike Trout. Here in this bottom of the fifth, it's 4-1 Boston. Weiser has been awesome, but what a test. The pitch is a sweeper down and away. And of course, that's ball one. This is the first time all season. And now eight games that a Red Sox starter has not lasted five innings. Keller comes up one out short of that. 1-0 to Trout. Swing and a high fly into center field. Rafaela back into his left. He will have room in front of the track. Gliding over to make the play. Greg Weiser retires Mike Trout with the bases loaded. And because of that, we go to the sixth. 4-1 Red Sox on the Shaws and Star Market, WEI, Red Sox Network. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. Spiegel, and we are off and running with season two of the PBP, Voices of Baseball. The very best play-by-play voices in the game talk about their craft. Hear guests like Joe Davis explain the thought process during baseball's biggest games. You gotta widen the lens. What does this home run mean? Incredible broadcasters sharing great stories from your favorite teams with new episodes weekly. Find us on the Odyssey app or wherever you find podcasts. Fight pain with the legendary herbal power of Tiger Balm. Trusted for over a hundred years, Tiger Balm tames pain with the strength and speed of the tiger. So you can rise above pain and get back to living. Learn more at TigerBalm.com. 
Hey, it's Fitzy from Six Rings and Football Things. It's not just a podcast. It's the 25th hour of the day. Your weekly source for all things New England Patriots. Right on time. Your time. In the car? Navigate the streets of the NFL offseason with wisdom in your ear. We accompany every errand you need to run. Washing the windows or vacuuming the carpets? Don't just clean. Conquer. Podcasts make you more productive because we fit perfectly into your schedule. Follow Six Rings and Football Things in the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Want to listen to WEEI on the go? Just download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. First pitch of the sixth is fouled straight back by Emmanuel Valdez. It comes in from the left-hander, Jose Suarez. He almost got a foul ball in the first big league game. That seems like it had been a little much. Yeah, a little much. 15 feet too low. That one is tapped out to the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. He'll scoop it in and fire across to get Valdez, who is 0 for 3 tonight. Yes, it is my first game. I'm Tyler Murray with Will Fleming. So happy to be along for the ride. As the Red Sox have a 4-1 to lead in the sixth inning on opening night at Angel Stadium here in Anaheim. I think that's the moment maybe Greg Weissert will remember. Getting Mike Trout to fly out to right center to leave him loaded. Big rip and a miss from Sedan Raffaella who caught that ball in right center field. Yes, I do think Greg Weissert will remember that one. Got him on a low sinker. Pitch is up and away. It's a fastball from Suarez, who, if you didn't hear uh, Will describe him last inning, I'll say he's giving uh, El Guapo, Rich Garces. <laughs> Slightly rotund Red Sox reliever of old. 1-1 one, one is inside. Two balls in a strike to Rafaela. A Hall of Famer Joe Castiglione would say he's the burly sort. Oh, I like that. Well, that's how you win the Fort Frick Award. 2-1. <laughs> Rafaela Ooh. ropes one foul. Good swing, but out in front of a curve ball. It's two balls and two strikes. Well, the Red Sox bullpen's been awesome this season. Their pitching staff has been brilliant. This does feel kind of like a moment where you'd, you'd like to put another run or two up. Base is empty, one down for Rafaela. Four to one Red Sox, top of the six, then Rafaela will call time. He was hit by a pitch on the hand in the second. And he came in to score on the Reese McGuire home run. And the last time up in the fourth, he grounded out. 2-2 pitch is tipped foul. Well, today through Thursday at Shaw's and Star Market, get value pack 80% lean fresh ground beef or 93% lean Shady Brook Farms ground turkey. Just $2.77 a pound when you use the digital coupon limit 2. 2-2 two -two is high. That's Shaw's and Star Market, the official supermarket of the Red Sox radio network. The three balls and two strikes on Rafaela. Always great to see him working the count. Suarez, the lefty, rocks back and deals from the windup. It's swung on and skied foul beyond the first base dugout. It'll stay three and two. Well, Craig Breslow and Brian O'Halloran, a couple booths over. And uh, understandably, Craig just back from the clubhouse. Some rather concerned looks on their faces. Payoff pitch. Down low, ball four. It's the second walk of the season for Sedan Rafaela. And yes, the, the brass is a lot more talkative a few boots over than they were in the first three innings. But two times on base and three plate appearances for Rafaela tonight. And once again, he's on for Reese McGuire. Lefty on lefty with Suarez. Relieves Griffin Canning. There goes Rafael. A pitch is cut on a miss. Threw it down from Ohapi. In oh. time. I don't think so. Rafaela wants a challenge. Alex Cora says, hold on. We're going to think about it. Take a look. I think that's a terrible call. If we can see it from here, Mike Brenly is so good at this in the Red Sox video room. I think this is going to be a quick review when we see the replay. I think he's safe by a lot. I'll defer to you, the veteran. You're not allowed to say things like that your first game. I am. I mean, that's not even close. He's safe by a lot. At least based off the view we have, Will. He's going to be ruled safe. Here <laughs> comes the umpire. It's uh, Alex Tosi, the home plate out, but Dan Bellino is the crew chief. He's waiting to make the announcement. Dan Boston is challenging the call that I just blew, is basically what he means. <laughs> hey, look, I know it's hard. The game moves fast, but I mean, he's right there. And that was that was not bang bang. I mean, in the grand scheme of life, it is, but 
based on what you see so often in baseball, that, that was clear as day. And this should not take long. I know you've been dying to hear about the... Uh, Boston will retain their challenge. Well, how about that? That's almost as quick as an automated ball and strike challenge takes in AAA. Well, yeah. great job, great job. So, yes, stolen base for Rafaela. He's got one this year. And in scoring position for McGuire with one out in the sixth. Pretty good. Walk and a steal. I mean, that's what you're looking for from Rafaela. A chance to pad the lead a little bit. I know you've heard me talking about the need for that here, the automatic strike and ball challenge system. It's got to come soon. First, here's the 0-1 pitch to McGuire. It's a cutter down low. Buster Olney on his podcast this week, he was talking as if it's a foregone conclusion. Talking out score, he sort of seems to think the same. Good. We need it. And if you're thinking, oh, we don't want more reviews, more uh, ways to slow down the game, as another beach ball comes down onto the warning track in right field, the ABS, Automated Balls and Strikes Challenge System, it's actually fun. They put it up on the video board. You see a 3D image of the It's like tennis, right? Yes, exactly. And the crowd swells, and the call goes the home <laughs> team's way. They go nuts. It is a fun element of being at a ball game. No, it just has to happen. We've seen way too many in key spots be blown, and it's an easy fix. And, uh, I mean, Tristan Costas will be a Hall of Famer if they're guaranteed to get every strike call right. <laughs> Runner at second for McGuire. 1-1, one, one, a weak way of it a miss. He was fooled on a sweeper for strike two. There's an interesting group dynamic to it, because I've not watched it live, but, like, okay, you get, what, three of them as a team, isn't that right? And, and if you, you get it right, you keep them. So, in theory, yeah, you could have them all for all But again. it's like there's some pressure on the hitter to pick their spots and not burn them early. Yes. Uh, the majority of challenges in AAA were made in the ninth inning last year, which makes sense. But, yeah, the... Uh, the whole fate of the team's ability to challenge in the clutch is weighing on if you're good at it or not. And the time called by Logan Ohapi, the catcher, is going to go out and talk to Jose Suarez. Like I would imagine most, most teams will have some kind of structure and rule about when you can do it. I mean, you definitely want to save them late if you can. Otherwise, maybe, you know, like huge high leverage situations, guys in scoring position in a close game. You, the last thing you want to do is burn through them early and regret it later. And what you're getting at is another reason why you're going to love the challenge system. It's a whole other layer of strategy. Our meeting adjourned, ready for the 1-2 Suarez. McGuire mm. checked his swing on a sweeper. It just missed outside, and they appeal down to third. Tony Randazzo says no swing. Subtle thing. Reese has been so hot with the bat. He's been so good. He's homered tonight. Alex Cora playing the hot hand. He took that first pitch so that Sedan could run on him. turn and throw to second mm. base. Rafaela gets the right hand back in there. It's McGuire, a veteran on this team, and he spoke on behalf of the pitching staff. It was a quote to uh, Sean McAdam of Mass Live. Is that these pitchers have heard all offseason how we need to add more to the rotation, and they've taken that to heart. 2-2 two -two pitch. Just missed the outside corner at 91. And you can obviously see the competitive fire that's led to a lot of great starts the first uh, turn and a half of the rotation so far. Crawford, uh, thanks to the bases loaded fly out induced by Weissert, allows just one run in four and two thirds tonight. Three two to McGuire. Raking ball swung on and popped to the second baseman. Brandon Jury started back. Now he comes into the dirt and they'll squeeze it for the second out. Uh, hitting is hard. I mean, we say it all the time, but that was ball for him. Mean, it's not easy to lay off that kind of a pitch in a 3-2 count, but Spinner that definitely was going to be outside, and he's kind of got it off the end. So he's one for three today with that two-run home run. And back to the top of the order, Jaron Duran. Oh, for three today. Beg your pardon, Tyler. One fan is quite unhappy with the umpire. <laughs> There's a cutter outside. You hear that too? <laughs> it's not just Open me. Open your eyes. He's talking to you, you know. <laughs> Rafaela used his eyes to work a one-out walk. He's at second after a steal. 4-1 Red Sox, top of the sixth. And a dead red fastball for Duran is a called strike. We wouldn't be able to hear that guy had the Angels given their almost capacity crowd something more to cheer about. Just one run on two hits in five innings. 1-1. One, one. Duran takes a heater down low. Ball two. A pop out, a strikeout, and a ground out 
for the Red Sox leadoff man. Still hoping for that first extra base hit of the season. He's got 11 singles. 2-1. Duran pokes one foul. And he also brought a, a prove people wrong type attitude to this season. I, I think his quote, and I want to get it right, he said, it's like a punch people in the mouth early thing. Let's show people who we are. And they've done that so far. He has taken no prisoners, especially on the base paths. A club record, six steals in six games. Two two pitches rip back up the middle, a base hit to right center field. Rafael is coming in to score, and Jaron Duran extends the Red Sox lead to 5 1. Got a fastball right down Broadway. He took it earlier in the at-bat, but he wouldn't let Suarez get away with another. It's a base hit to right center field. And it's back to a four-run lead. And of course, because of the successful challenge on the Rafaela Steele, they're able to plate that run. And Rafi Devers will take a fastball for a strike. Good call by you. And, you know, look, it's one of these things the Red Sox in this first week have done pick each other up. Well, that's another two-out hit after somebody else couldn't get the job done, and as they throw over to first, not to steal your play-by-play -play in game number one, but I, I think we're going to start to see Duran run a lot more. It's weird because he's in front of Devers, and you're almost always kind of in scoring position, but with Rafi the way he is, I think they're going to be more aggressive. Mm. Devers mm. takes one up and in around the hands. He's hit by the pitcher, oh. and he's walking over to the oh, dugout. no. I mean, not again. He's down on, me. down on one knee now, and the Angels are arguing that it maybe it hit the bat. It did not. It hit him right on the hand. He did not swing. They're saying he did. He didn't. Oh, geez. We saw Rafaela hit by a pitch. He was okay. Trevor Story already out diving for a ball in the shortstop hole. And it looks awful. Yeah. Rafi looks like he's in excruciating pain. Dave Herrera to check on him this time. Oh, waiting to see a replay where on the hand it got him on his left hand. He's taking the glove off now to get it looked at. Here's our first look at the replay. And I couldn't tell. I think kind of around the fingers. It was going so fast on that first replay. Now they slow it down a little bit. Again, I think it's kind of like near his index and middle fingers on his left hand. You can see immediately already it's swollen. They're checking on it. This has a chance to be an absolute nightmarish night in Anaheim. Not to take the air out of the balloon, but I mean, yeah, the Red Sox are winning 5-1, but they've already lost Trevor Story, and now their most pivotal, important player is slumped over in pain looking at his left hand. And I think now that we get a closer look at it, holy smokes, there's a huge contusion kind of like right above his middle finger between the middle and ring fingers. That's right where it got him. And uh, we'll see whether he's going to try to stay in this game. He was able to clench his fist, but you know, Dave Herrera, the athletic trainer, is uh, giving him some pressure points. He winced, but he's going to stay in the game. Thank goodness. Enough of that tonight. You're not allowed to come back if he's hurt. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. I really wouldn't. And I think no matter what the final score is, the headline, of course, has to be the injury to Story. And hopefully two scares they survived with uh, Rafaela and Devers both hit on the hand by pitches. And Ron Washington, first-year skipper of the Angels, going to take the ball from Suarez and make a change. The Red Sox have added one here in the sixth on an RBI single by Jaron Duran. Devers is at first base after a hit by pitch. So 5-1 Red Sox with two down in the top of the sixth inning. We'll take the break for the pitching change on the Shaw's and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. Hey, it's Fourier. As we gear up for our air conditioning season, beat the rush by contacting McFarland Energy today to upgrade your AC system. Thinking about ductless for that three-season room? They've got you covered. And mention WEEI to save $500 on any AC install. North Shore, Greater Boston, to the Cape. Homeowners, trust McFarland for top-notch home heating oil delivery and HVAC services. Learn more at McFarlandEnergy.com and be sure to ask about BioHeat, a much cleaner alternative. You've reached Monster Bank. Please enter your 35-digit account number. I don't have it. State your name. Jim Robbins. 
Okay, Mr. Lobkins, how can we help you? It's Robbins. You said pay off my mortgage. I'll transfer you. No, 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 no. I need to open a small business account. But I will head Bellum at Monster Bank. If your bank doesn't understand you, that's bull. Now there's a bank helping small businesses succeed. Owners Bank. All business, no bull. Learn more at ownersbank.com. Owners Bank is a division of Liberty Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. During this call to the bullpen, it's the perfect time to check out all the great content at buyfordnow.com. Find Ford offers you won't see advertised anywhere else. Search Ford dealer inventory for your dream vehicle. Compare Ford SUVs, trucks, and electric vehicles versus the competition. Calculate your trade-in value and learn about exclusive offers for military and first responders. So, visit buyfordnow.com and then see your New England Ford dealers. Ask your smart speaker to play 93.7 WEEI. Now, back to Red Sox Baseball on WEEI. Second reliever into the ball game for the Angels. With two outs and two men aboard. And a 5-1 lead on the scoreboard on the top of the six for the Red Sox. The Angels go to Luis Garcia. A veteran, if there ever was one, 37 years old from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Got a nice $4 million one-year contract in the offseason. He's had a, a tough start to 2024. Garcia's allowed five runs through just one combined inning of work. Two on, two out. It's Pablo Reyes batting from the right side. And the first pitch is a fastball that misses high. Reyes, of course, came in for the injured Trevor Story. One plate appearance so far. He worked a walk in the fifth. Got to third base, but runners were stranded on the corners. one -0, swinging a bouncing ball to the shortstop. Room service hop for Zach Neto. Underhand flip to second, and Drury is there to retire the side. 5-1 Red Sox after 5.5 in Anaheim on the Shaw's and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh-oh, better get Mako. Is there anything more satisfying than finding something that perfectly lines up with your taste and checks all the boxes? Like a suit from Indochino. Their suits are made to measure and totally customizable with endless options. Choose the cut, fabric, lining, and more for the suit of your dreams at a surprisingly affordable price. Go to Indochino.com and use code PODCAST to get 10% off any purchase of $3.99 or more. That's 10% off at I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O dot com with code PODCAST. Baseball is back, basketball is heating up, and the NFL Draft is right around the corner. Listen to the latest on the teams you love with the free Odyssey app. The biggest sports radio stations in the country providing unrivaled local coverage of their teams all in one place. Exclusive interviews with players, coaches, and team executives streaming live and always available on demand. Stay in the know with your favorite teams with Odyssey. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Download the free Odyssey app today. Imagine travel that's unique, a trip that's literally customized just for you, with an expert private guide at your side. That's travel with Kensington Tours, Italy for art, Kenya for safari, Scotland for history, Vietnam for food, whatever trip you dream of. In over 100 countries worldwide, you enjoy exclusive access to the best of your destinations. See what it's like to see the world differently. Visit kensingtontours.com today. Take Boston sports with you wherever you go. Download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. Josh Winkowski coming in for the Red Sox. They lead 5-1 in the bottom of the sixth. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. From the WEEI Studios, 93.7 WEEI-FM and HD1, Lawrence, Boston. Always live on the free Odyssey app. Winkowski's first pitch is in for a strike at 95 to Taylor Ward. Five runs, six hits, one error for the Red Sox. Just one run on two singles and three walks for the Angels. Righty on righty, Winkowski into the wind, and he gets a swing and a foul tip on another 95-mile-an-hour fastball. Nothing and two. With Will Fleming, I'm Tyler Murray. Four runs across in the second inning for the Red Sox on three homers. 0-2. 
Swinging a liner out to center field, but straight to Rafaela, but he dropped the wall. Tried to snow cone it, but it scored it back out of his glove. And that allows Ward to reach. It was a slicing line drive. Looked like it might have been heading for the center of his mitt, but it went to the very edge of it, and as he squeezed it, it slipped free. He has a look on his face as if he should have been granted the out. But that is not the case. It hung in the uh, outskirts of the webbing for maybe a half second, but you know, that is uh, not a catch. And it's an E8 error on Rafaela. And there is a, a smoothness to his game, a confidence to how he plays in center field. Hasn't really got him in trouble until maybe then. Brandon Drury at the plate. He'll take a low sinker at 94. So Winkowski is into the game for Greg Weissert, who only had to throw two pitches, but they might wind up being the two biggest of the night. He got Mike Trout to fly out to right center field to leave him loaded in the fifth inning. Uh, just after Nolan Shawnawell worked a bases loaded walk to chase Cutter Crawford from the game. Winkowski's pitch is a slider just outside to Drury. Well, Winkowski throws hard, but Drury, he hits the hard stuff pretty well. So the top five in the major leagues in slugging percentage against pitches 95 miles an hour or harder last year. 2-0 to Drury. That one's in there for a strike at 94. But Taylor Ward at first base, he has now reached on two different errors. One at first base by Casas in the second. And now, obviously, a very surprising miscue in center field by Rafaela in the sixth. 2-1 to Drury. That catches the top of the zone. Crowd doesn't like it, but that was right at the letters at 94 from Winkowski. So from 2-0, it's 2-2. And, and what a job Winkowski did in his last outing. 15 pitches on Tuesday in Oakland. 15 strikes. 2-2 pitch. Just missed at 95, a bit below the knees. And the only base runner Winkowski gave up on Tuesday was an intentional walk. He handled all six outs, three in the 10th and three in the 11th. Here comes the 3-2 to Drury. No, actually, he'll step off. Just the first disengagement there for Winkowski. Gets one more scot free before things get interesting with Taylor Ward over there at first. Drury is 0 for 2, a ground out and a strikeout, both against Cutter Crawford. 3-2 pitches, chopped to third. Backhanded by Devers, will throw to second. There's Valdez, but he dropped it. Everybody safe. There was never a chance for two, but they don't even get one. So back-to-back -back base runners on defensive miscues. We'll see who they give it to. Uh, that hit the glove of Valdez reaching for it on the backhand at second base. Yeah, never hit the ground, so it should be an E4 on the catch. And just two hits in this game for the Angels. It was a Mike Trout single in the fourth. That was the play that Trevor Story was injured on. And then a Logan O'Hoppy base hit in the fifth. And they've been filling up the base paths because of now three errors and three walks. All three of those walks came from Cutter Crawford in the fifth. Two on, nobody out, and Miguel Sano with home run pop is at the plate. First pitch is a slider that grabs the outside corner for strike one. Sano popped out in the second and led off the fifth with a walk and came home on the bases loaded free pass to Shawnawell. The Halos are threatening bottom of the sixth. 5-1 Red Sox, and the pitch hits him. Sano is hit by a pitch by Winkowski in near the hands. He doesn't look any worse for wear. But without a walk and a hit, the bases are loaded with nobody out for the Angels. Error in center, error at second, now a hit batter. And things are in jeopardy of unraveling here in the bottom of the sixth. Andrew Bailey, as you might expect, is heading out to the hill to talk with Winkowski before he faces Mickey Monia. 
Now the first three batters of this inning, all right-handed hitters, and of course the first two should have been retired. And now he's got to deal with Moniak, the lefty power back. The entire infield is on the mound right now. It's six, or rather five, one Red Sox in the sixth. This copyrighted broadcast is presented by the authority of the Boston Red Sox and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of WEEI and the Boston Red Sox. So a big moment here. Winkowski has thrown 11 pitches. And with the exception of the hit-by-pitch of Sano, he's done everything right. What does he have to show for it? Bases loaded, nobody out. Mickey Moniak tying run at the plate. And the first pitch is a cutter called strike. Might have got away with the, a pitch up high, but it's nothing in one. Moniak popped out in the second, struck out looking in the fifth, both against Cutter Crawford. He will get a no decision tonight. 0-1. Moniak jam shot in the air to third, snagged by Devers, infield fly anyway, and a very important first out for Winkowski. The runners stay at first, second, and third. Like the infield line pop rule was called there. <laughs> right. Huge out. Red Sox emotionally it feels like this is a really pivotal moment where because of the injury to story the scare for Devers maybe a little bit of that focus has been lost here tonight trying to leave him loaded for the second straight inning here's the red hot Logan Ohapi first pitch cutter outside ball one it's the first time we've seen from Rafaela like just a little bit of style out of the outfield I thought the same thing. 1-0 from Winkowski. Ooh. Fouled Ooh. off the go. The umpire got hit with that foul ball. It's 1-1. One one. It's uh, Alex Tosi took a shot. Reese McGuire turns around to check on him. He seems okay as McGuire kicks some invisible dirt off of home plate. Oh, Hoppy was robbed of a hit by Trevor Story in the third. And he singled past Pablo Reyes in the fifth. Bases full of angels, one down and the 1-1 pitch, swinging a drive to center field. Rafael has got to hurry back to the warning track. Now at the wall, it's a grand slam, and the game is tied. Well, the Red Sox got away with this yesterday. You cannot give big league teams extra outs and extra chances. They do not get away with it here today. Two errors in one inning on the most routine plays you can have. In the big leagues, you have to catch the ball. They did not, and they pay a huge price. That's a sinker at 96. Right at the knees for Ohapi. It goes 407 feet. You only need to go 396 to straightaway center here in An Anaheim, one of the uh, shortest distances to dead center in the league. Winkowski was hopeful that Rafaela was going to pull off another miracle, but not this time. It is 5-5. Five to five. Bases wide clean for Zach Neto, the nine-hitter. He'll take a high slider, ball one. First home run of the year for Ohapi. Obviously a big one. 1-0. Neto takes a strike. Slider top of the zone. Neto's 0 for 2. A pop out and a line out. 1-1. Foul back. Two errors. A hit batter. And a grand slam. And maybe focus is not the right way, but at this level, the highest level of pro sports, there's just an edge that you need to do this. And it just seems different after Story got hurt. One, two, pitch, check swing on a breaking ball. He went around, strike three. They appeal down to Dan Bellino at first, and he punches out Neto. Winkowski gets the K, and it's out number two in the sixth. Which, by the way, is totally understandable. I mean, he's such a pivotal part of everything they're doing. Now, of course, having said that, 
You still like to be able to make pitches to get out of it in that kind of a spot. That did not happen. Josh only allowed nine homers in 81 innings last year. An ultimate workhorse in the bullpen is Anthony Rendon. The swings of the first pitch. Softly chopped to the third. Devers has to hurry. Gloves throws late. Anthony Rendon is off the schneid. It's his first hit of the season in his 23rd at bat. And the crowd goes wild for an infield hit. Some of them anyway. If there's any good news, it's that Devers looks okay. I mean, there's no ill effects after he got hit by that pitch. That was a really good try by Rafi. And he absolutely did the right thing earlier in the inning, trying to cut down the runner at second. It's something we've seen from Valdez in the past. It's just got to grip the ball. Sean Owell now. He'll take a cut fastball for strike one. Eighth batter of the inning. Sean Owell extended that uh, 36 game on base streak with that bases loaded walk in the fifth. It's five to five in the sixth. Pitch is rolled foul, nothing to do. Kowski wants to get the lefty Sean Owell before dealing with Mike Trout waiting on deck. Go ahead run at first base for the Angels with two down in the bottom of the sixth. Game tying grand slam from Logan O'Hoppy. There's a high slider, one and two. Nothing was happening for the Angels in the first four innings. An error and a single were their only base runners. And they get one in the fifth and now four in the sixth. One, two. Right down Broadway, a call third strike. 94 at the fastball, and Sean Owell is frozen to end the sixth inning. Two Ks for Winkowski, but a grand slam from Logan O'Hoppy ties the game and sends us to the seventh on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. The world needs ways to reduce carbon emissions. We're working on solutions in our own operations. Like carbon capture. And clean energy from hydrogen. So, who are we? Believe it or not, ExxonMobil. And our solutions could help industries like manufacturing, commercial transportation, and power generation too. Heavy industry with low emissions. Let's deliver. Learn more at ExxonMobil.com. Replacing your windows doesn't have to be complicated. Riverhead Building Supply can help you find the right Anderson 400 series windows for your home. Anderson brand products are number one for replacement. Learn more at Riverhead Building Supply and rbscorp.com. Embrace your outdoor space with a new low-maintenance Timber Tech deck from Riverhead Building Supply. Get creative with different styles of railing, accent colors, deck lighting, and more. Find Timber Tech decking at all Riverhead Building Supply locations and online at rbscorp.com. You know that Big Bargain detergent jug is 80% water, right? 80% water? I thought I was getting a better deal because it's so big. If you want a better clean, Tide Pods are only 12% water. The rest is pure, concentrated cleaning ingredients. Ooh, pass me the intercom thingy. Attention shoppers. If you want a real deal, try Tide Pods. Don't pay for water. Pay for clean. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide Pods. Water content based on the Leaving Bargain liquid detergent. Ask your smart speaker to play 93.7 WEEI. Now back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. Red Sox 5, Angels 5. We're in the top of the seventh inning in Anaheim, and it's sponsored by Sherwin-Williams. The exclusive Sherwin-Williams Pro Plus program will help you grow and manage your paint business. Logan O'Hoppy, game time grand slam. And none of those four runs are earned on Josh Winkowski because two errors began the rally. Masataka Yoshida from the left side takes a strike from the fireballer, Jose Soriano. That heater comes in at 99. He has topped out at 101 this year. 25-year-old right-hander. Zips one on the inside corner, a called strike two. He's actually hit triple digits on the radar gun 12 times this year. The only guy consistently throwing harder than Soriano is Oakland's Mason Miller. 0-2. Yoshida takes one high at 100. 
That was outrageous. Yes, it was. Miller the other day. Every pitch above 100, a fastball. It's nasty beyond belief. Soriano kicks and deals a 1-2. It swung on and chopped to third base. Anthony Rendon was angled toward the shortstop position. He'll make the play, and Yoshida is one for four with a single today. I'll bet you if he ask Red Sox fans to name one Oakland athletic, everyone's going to say Mason Miller. Or Ag. Current Oakland athletic, <laughs> yes. It's uh, You know, this is part of having a young team, and the Red Sox fan has benefited from some of that energy, the upside of young players. First pitch to O'Neill is fouled off at home plate. This is sort of the downside where, I mean, they're just growing pains. The, the Rafaela one, I think, will bother the Red Sox more than any because it's just a careless, kind of casual play. And if for a guy who's so gifted, you understand it. He's gotten away with it so many times in his life. Pitch to O'Neill, hits Ooh. him in the back. He goes straight to first base, but. Well, if there's anybody in the world equipped to take a baseball to the back, it's Tyler O'Neill. He's got muscles in places most of us don't. <laughs> and thankfully, it was not a triple-digit fastball. It was a curveball at 85. How about a big one from Tristan right here? It feels like one of those moments, Tyler, where you could just really get a lift. Jolt into that dugout, which feels right now kind of like a. it's in a... a bit of a haze if it wasn't earlier it certainly is now with the game tied Casas went deep to left field his first time a 397 foot homer his first of the year so O'Neill's at first one down pitch to Casas grounded back up the middle that's through to center field to base hit O'Neill motors to second he hits the turbo button to third and they've got runners on the corners just one down in a tie ball game here in the seventh Acasas has that look now. He didn't for the first four or five days of the season, but he's made whatever adjustment it was that he made in May of last year. Just looks so focused, intentional at the plate. He was clearly ready for a first pitch fastball. So if he spins a slider, okay, you got me. But I'm geared up for 100. He got it, ripped it back through the middle, and a chance for a big answer. On base in nine of his last 17 plate appearances, Tristan Casas, he's at first. O'Neill's at third. One down, and here's Valdez. First pitch swinging. He popped it foul at 100. Red Sox 5, Angels 5. Three home runs for the Red Sox in the top of the second inning. O'Neill and Casas went back to back. And two batters later, Rafaela was hit by a pitch in front of McGuire's two run shot. The offense has been quiet since then. They got a single from Jaron Duran in the sixth to knock in a run. 0 1. Valdez takes just outside. I think that's impressive in a way. You know he's trying to make up for the drop, the defensive misplay. A young player oftentimes, you know, a little overzealous, might expand. 0 for 3 tonight. Two ground outs and a strikeout. 1-1. One, one. He swings and slices one in the air. Shallow left toward the foul line. This one lands foul by a foot. In field of play, Taylor Ward had to come over and grab it, but that one nearly found some green grass in fair territory. You know, one thing we're learning about Tyler O'Neill is he's a great base runner. He's fast, he's athletic, he took the extra 90 there easily. I think he was going to tag. If that ball was caught in foul territory with the momentum of Ward, he put himself in a position to try to score there. Turned into a complete player, at least so far, for the Red Sox. Tyler O'Neill hitting fifth today between Yoshida and Casas. He's at third right now. One, two. Valdez got a piece. High fastball. <laughs> Why not? You've seen the quickness of Valdez's bat just to catch up with that. 100 again. Soriano looks in. One-two pitch, way mm. outside. And the curveball is not working for him. That's the same spot he missed, and luckily for him, it's not another righty like O'Neal, or it's another hit by pitch. I think now Valdez eliminates that pitch and sits dead red. Soriano nods his head. 
Catcher Ohapi, who tied the game with a grand slam, was about to set up outside, but time is called. Griffin Canning started for the Angels, gave up four runs in four and two thirds. No decision for him. 2 2 from Soriano, swung on and driven to center field. Trout turns around, back toward the track. It's plenty deep enough. He'll make the catch. O'Neill tags, and he's coming in with a go ahead run. O'Neill touches home plate, and in Manuel Valdez. That's two straight games with a big sack fly. He's given the Red Sox a 6 5 lead in the seventh. So hopefully it'll be three straight games in which he's provided the winning swing of the bat. I mean, that is such a clutch important at that given all that's gone on for this club the last couple of innings. Casas stayed at first and here's Saidon. First pitch to Rafaela. <laughs> that's a swing and a foul tip. And what did you just say about Valdez not trying to make up for an error with a big swing? I would have bet the note of my house that he was going to swing at that first <laughs> pitch. I mean he does it all the time anyway but you know a guy who does not make errors is feeling it. No one from Soriano. That one is popped foul into the first base seats. But again, it's the growing pains of young players. And I think it's really cool that Valdez was able to you know, flip the script a little bit. And that pitch that he hit to deep center field on that sacrifice fly came in at 93. I think that was the, the change from Soriano. 0 2 to Rafaela. Line drive foul, a slicer down the first base side. It makes it even more impressive. Maybe a slider, whatever it was, something secondary. And you're right. I mean, that's that's where, you know, En Manuel, he, he obviously is a naturally gifted hitter. But for a young guy in that situation to, to be able to be geared up for heat and be able to adjust and still deliver, very impressive. And the bullpen. With the exception, of course, of that sixth inning. It's been so dependable. Can they keep that going and close this down? 0-2 pitch, swinging a bouncing ball to the shortstop. Big hop for Neto. Goes the short way to second to get Casas 6-4. And the side is retired. But a go-ahead sacrifice fly from N. Manuel Valdez puts the Red Sox back in front 6-5 in Anaheim. On the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. As a major research institution, Arizona State University offers the most online bachelor's degree programs, along with world-class faculty and dedicated support. Discover why ASU is ranked number one in innovation for nine consecutive years. Tap to learn more. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. Sox fans, the boys of summer are back, and the future is here. Casas absolutely obliterated that ball. Jared Duran leading off with a home run. With the free Odyssey app, you can catch every Devers blast with Hall of Fame Joe on the call. Another opposite field home run for Rafi Devers. Your soundtrack to summer is on Boston Sports Original with every Sox game live on the Odyssey app with WEEI. Download it today. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Live games available for fans in market only. Hey, it's Fitzy from Six Rings and Football Things. It's not just a podcast. It's the 25th hour of the day. Your weekly source for all things New England Patriots. Right on time. Your time. In the car? Navigate the streets of the NFL offseason with wisdom in your ear. We accompany every errand you need to run. Washing the windows or vacuuming the carpets? Don't just clean. Conquer. Podcasts make you more productive because we fit perfectly into your schedule. Follow Six Rings and Football Things in the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. During this call to the bullpen, it's the perfect time to check out all the great content at buyfordnow.com. Find Ford offers you won't see advertised anywhere else. Search Ford dealer inventory for your dream vehicle. Compare Ford SUVs, trucks, and electric vehicles versus the competition. Calculate your trade-in value and learn about exclusive offers for military and first responders. So, visit buyfordnow.com and then see your New England Ford dealers.
Hey, it's Fourier. As we gear up for our air conditioning season, beat the rush by contacting McFarland Energy today to upgrade your AC system. Thinking about ductless for that three-season room? They've got you covered. And mention WEEI to save $500 on any AC install. North Shore, Greater Boston, to the Cape. Homeowners, trust McFarland for top-notch home heating oil delivery and HVAC services. Learn more at McFarlandEnergy.com and be sure to ask about BioHeat, a much cleaner alternative. Hi, this is Vaughn Grissom. You're listening to Home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. Bottom of the seventh in Anaheim. Sacrifice fly from Manuel Valdez. Breaks a 5-5 tie. So Red Sox 6, Angels 5. Stay tuned after the game for the Nissan Post Game Show. You deserve a car that thrills you. And Nissan's got an exciting full line that'll put goosebumps on your goosebumps. Shop your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. And an interesting development here in the seventh inning, Will Fleming. A Mr. Eighth inning, Chris Martin is coming in for the seventh inning in a one-run ball game. We've seen this from Alex Gore. He's going to use Martin in the biggest spots no matter what. He did it in the game that ended in extra innings in Seattle. Trout is up, and he wants Martin to face him. That's just the bottom line of this. Then the question becomes, after Chris throws, I don't think that Kennedy will pitch in this game. After going back-to-back, if he had the off day yesterday, we'll see. But you got Slayton, you got Campbell, all kinds of options out there in the bullpen. This is Alex Square really going for it here in the seventh. Winkowski done after an inning, which saw four unearned runs because of the Ohapi Grand Slam. Mike Trout in a one-run ball game in the bottom of the seventh inning. Takes a cutter for a strike at 93. Trout left him loaded against Greg Weissert in the fifth with a fly ball to right center. He's one for three with a single in the fourth. MVP chance for Trout. Almost gets hit by that pitch. Pulls the shoulder out of the way. Ball one. If you're just joining us, Trout single is the play that Trevor Story tried to dive for, and his full weight landed on that left arm. He's been out ever since. 1-1. That pops the mid at 93. Good cutter for strike two. Trout wants timeout. It was Crawford for four and two-thirds. He allowed one run on two hits. He walked three all in the fifth and struck out five. One-two pitch. Foul ball. Trout has seen Martin three times. He's 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. It is a veteran matchup. 32-year-old Mike Trout. It's 37-year-old Chris Martin. One-two. Inside at 94. Martin had a little adversity on Wednesday, but wound up stranding runners at the corners in that 1-0 game. He struck out Seth Brown to get it done. Using the cutter more than any pitch this year. Four-seam fastball there, and he strikes out Trout, who could not check his swing. That was in on the hands, but he couldn't resist. And down goes Trout to start the seventh. I just love watching Chris Martin pitch. I mean, the guy is such a craftsman. In his life, Mike Trout is not taking many swings like that. I mean, that is outrageous. He's sitting cutter, and Chris just says, here comes four seam under the hands. Taylor Ward now. That's a cutter high. They call that a a sword on Pitching Ninja, right? A swing from Trout? Indeed. And a significant one at that. There's step one taking care of Trout, but Ward's been hot. 1-0 1-0 pitch. Oh. As I'm turning out of the way, but the cutter comes back on the inside corner for a called strike. He's just a joy to watch pitch. He told me the other day that he thinks there is room for his four-seamer to improve and become a real weapon, and that was a, <laughs> a great spot to prove that point. 1-1 pitch. Ward swings and bloops one to shallow right. Tough play for O'Neal coming on. Dives for it, but he couldn't make the catch. Clangs off his glove, and it rolls into right center field. And Manuel Valdez, all the way from second base, goes out to get it. And that holds Ward to just a single, but the tying run is aboard with one down in the seventh. Almost another spectacular play by O'Neill, and to be honest with you, I'm just glad his shoulder didn't pop out. That's yeah. the kind of night that it's been. You're just holding your breath when he fully extends that way. But I just think the way that Chris Martin pitches and sees and thinks the game 
is amazing. The sequencing, he's so intentional about where everything goes. He's got Brandon Drury now. And he plants a cutter on the inside corner strike one. By the way, we just saw the replay. On the way in to try to dive and make that play, Tyler O'Neill blew a bubble fully while he's running in. I thought I saw that, but <laughs> I still kind of can't believe it. 0-1 pitch. Drury takes a sinker for strike two. And now maybe we'll have to go frame by frame. Maybe it was like in the act as he started to break in, but legitimately there is a fully blown bubblegum bubble out of his mouth as he goes into a Superman dive. Does, does he catch it if he's not chewing gum? I mean, <laughs> we'll never know. But impressive multitasking, to say the least. 0-2 to Drury. Sweeper misses low. The old saying, I can walk and chew gum at the same time. I, I've not heard I can <laughs> make a diving catch and chew gum at the same time. Well, Martin was ahead at nothing in two. Drury late off the sweeper. And now the one-two pitch. Check Ooh. swing on a high cutter. Appeal to first. They say no swing. It's two and two. Such a good purpose pitch. And usually when Chris does that, something up in the zone with a cutter like that, the splitter is not long to follow. He hasn't thrown one yet. 2-2 two, two to Drury. Sinker inside. It hit him. Ooh. Must have grazed the front of the jersey. A lot of plunks today for both sides, and this one will move the tying run to scoring position with one away. It was a sinker at 94, and just too much arm side run on that one. Drury was looking to swing, so as he committed to the pitch, really didn't have a chance to pull out of the way. It's the fifth batter that's been hit in this game. Second Angel, three Red Sox have been hit. Chris, who's so precise, it's so unusual to see him do that. And now it is Miguel Sano. Chris Martin, in 51 innings last year, did not hit a single batter. Two on, one out. Sano takes a hearty <laughs> cut, but comes up empty. Cutter at 93. He's been aboard twice. He walked to start the fifth against Cutter Crawford, and then Winkowski hit him with a pitch in the sixth. Two batters before the Ohapi Grand Slam. 0-1. Sano takes inside for a ball. And for four with a home run against Martin is Sano. Tying runs at second, go-ahead run at first for the Angels. Pickoff play at second, throw came in a bit late. Valdez slapped the tag on, but Ward had his hands back in. Sano is three for 14 to start the season. As he looks for a comeback year with the Angels, he was not in professional baseball last year. 1-1 one, one for Martin, just inside with a cutter. Mickey Moniak waits on deck. It was 4-0 Red Sox after two. 5-1 Red Sox after five and a half. Now they're clinging to a one-run lead in the seventh as McGuire wants to jog out to the hill and talk with Martin. I think good time for a visit. He just had a shot of Alex Cora in the dugout. And Chris Martin is so good. I mean, those were balls. They were both inside. But... Alex is so used to Chris hitting every spot that he wants that he's thinking to himself, all right, my, my pitcher looks ticked off on the mound. I, it, it must be a strike if he thinks it was. Well, those were definitely not. Doesn't want to fall behind, so no three and one. Pitch is grounded, past the shortstop into left field to base it. They're going to wave Ward around. Here comes the throw to the plate from Jaron Duran. Not in time. We're tied again as Miguel Sano knocks it at six with an RBI single in the seventh. Ward scores.
Drury goes first to third. And Chris Martin has seen his 24 straight scoreless outing streak come to an end on opening night in Anaheim. There's still work to be done. Go ahead run is at third. Sano at first. And Mickey Moniak the batter. He's 0 for 3. First pitch. Sacri a suicide squeeze play on, but it's bunted foul. Wow. <laughs> Drury coming down the third baseline. Almost some chaos in front of home plate, but Moniak. Bunted it so high, it went over the net behind home plate. And you're right, he was breaking before the bunt was put down. Ron Washington, <laughs> a little frisky. Still getting creative at age 71, oldest manager in the majors. Now Devers comes even further in at third. Bunt play was almost on that time, more of a safety squeeze perhaps, but it's outside and Moniak pulls back one and one. Well, Chris is not sharp in his normal stint. And as you said, he never hits anybody. And that cutter that Sano ripped into left field was just middle-middle, and he never does that. So the uh, Red Sox record for consecutive scoreless outings still held by Koji Uehara, 27 in 2007. 1-1 pitch, cutting a miss at a 95-mile-an-hour sinker. If you don't think there was some anger behind that, you've not Chris, met Chris Martin. That was extra fuel. We saw his team retake the lead on the Enmanuel Valdez sack fly in the top of the seventh, but the Angels have tied it right back up. One two to Monia. Swing and a miss. Got him on the splitter. First time he's pulled that out of his back pocket tonight. And he gets Moniak for the second out of the inning. Is the ninth strikeout of the night for Red Sox pitching and probably the biggest to keep that go ahead run at third with two away now for Logan Ohapi. Two singles sandwiched around a hit batter have tied the game, and Ohapi, who evened things with a grand slam in the sixth. Has a chance to give the Angels their first lead of the night. So no at first, Drury at third. Righty righty matchup for Martin. First pitch. Cut and a miss. <laughs> Cut fastball at 91. He was trying to do it again at all. He's got a 15 game on base streak now. Oh, happy. Longest for an Angels catcher since the World Series champion Mike Napoli. That was back in 07. 0-1. Oh, oh, Hoppy pops it foul out of play. Nothing in two. And something seems to have recalibrated for Martin after giving up that game-tying single to Sano. Struck out Moniak on four pitches. Now ahead, nothing in two on oh, Hoppy. Yeah, recalibrated is one word for it. He got pissed, and he started really <laughs> digging deep, as he so often does. 0-2. Oh, Popped up, shallow right. O'Neill started back, has to hustle in. Valdez goes out from second, but O'Neill is there to make the catch and keep the game tied. Six to six in Anaheim through seven innings. Red Sox seven, Angels seven. Brand new ball game on to the eighth on the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. A lot can happen between falling in love with a house online and owning it, between imagining living there breathing in your new home for the first time. Having an advocate who can help you navigate the complex world of financing, inspections, negotiating, analyzing the market, and talking through any anxieties that may pop up, that can make all the difference. That's what the expertise of a Realtor can do for you. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors and bound by a code of ethics. Because that's who we are. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this? Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise. For lives in drive. 
Hey, did you know Visaprint prints everything a small business needs? Like if a barbershop needs signage, we print outdoor signs, posters, and banners. Or if a ballet school needs merch, we print tote bags, t-shirts, hoodies, hats. Or if a coffee shop needs a total refresh, Visaprint designs logos and prints it on menus, mugs, paper bags, anything. Because with Visaprint, the printabilities are endless. Print it all with 25% off for new customers with code NEW25 at Vistaprint.com. Cup Noodles is now in a paper cup. Now easier. Now faster. Now microwavable. The original Cup Noodles. Same noodles, same great taste. Now in a microwavable paper cup. Ask your smart speaker to play 93.7 WEEI. Now back to Red Sox Baseball on WEEI. On we go into the eighth inning, tied at six. The Red Sox and the Angels. Jose Siriano continues in the game as Reese McGuire, Jaron Duran, and then Rafi Devers in the Herb Chambers batting order, trying to break this game that's knotted at six. Reese has had a very nice start to the season, did a two run homer earlier in this game. Tips his left foot into the batter's box. He's ready to go, and so too Soriano. Here's the pitch. Swinging a hard ground ball foul. That's at first. They're really guarding the line. Shovel over there. Fielded it outside the chalk, and that is a loud strike one. Herb Chambers batting order in this frame. Brought to you by Herb Chambers Hyundai of Auburn. 1-1 on the pitch. Outside, a fastball. 95 miles an hour, and it's 1-1. One and one. Race really is swinging it in the early part of this year. The 1-1 ripped foul on the right field line. He is in one of those zones where he's seeing a beach ball. Takes a deep breath, spins the barrel of the bat in his left hand, adjusts his helmet, now stares at to Soriano. One ball, two strikes, the pitch. Swing and miss. He got him. That was nasty. 94-mile-an-hour slider. And Reese is gone. So one down now, the leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. I mean, Jaron is so hot right now. He drove in a run that put the Sox ahead in the game in the sixth inning. They want him to just keep doing what he's doing. The pitch to him is a strike on the outside corner. But one thing you wonder about is, is he eliminating the weapon that is the ability to bunt? It's such a tool for him. Here he drives one high and deep in the center field, racing after it. Trout at the wall! Gone! Jaron Duran goes deep to straight away. Center field, his first bolt of the season, puts the Red Sox ahead. 7-6. to six. Don't ever bunt. Jaron Duran, what a big fly in a big spot. Oh my goodness. He takes 99 on an 0 1 pitch to dead center field at 409 feet. What a swing! Here's Rafi who takes low on a curveball. It's outside ball one. I mean, he is so hot right now, it is insane. Trout went all the way back and what a swing. Here's a big cut in the miss of the slider, and it's one and one. Tired of hearing us talk about all the singles he has this year. <laughs> is a huge home run. He is so key to this whole offense. The 1-1 one -one is outside to Rafi. You know, Tyler, I think sometimes we can forget just how key he is to this team as Rafi waits on a 2-1 pitch. Here it is. Just outside. That could have been called a strike. It was not. He is so talented, so dynamic. There just aren't many people on earth who can do all the things he can. The 3-1 set from Soriano. Here's the pitch. That's low. Ball four. So Rafi, for the second time in this game, walks. He's aboard for the third time. And there just aren't many who have the potential to steal 70 bases, hit 15, 20 home runs, and get on base at a 400 clip. Alex Cora said today the recent rule changes favor a guy like Duran who wants to be aggressive on the base paths, but 
we see a lot of guys come to the minor leagues that have just unbeatable hype, and a lot of them are here. Devers, Casas, Rafaela, Jaron Duran in AAA, his first time through, he was every bit as hyped as a top prospect as those other guys you talk about. It didn't click early, but this, I think anyone who watched him in the minor leagues, that he's doing this now, it really isn't much of a surprise because he really has been that good every step of the way. So much of the story for him has been just getting comfortable and being able to be himself as Pablo Reyes digs in. Pablo in the game because Trevor's story, a really nasty-looking shoulder injury earlier in the game as Pablo hits a double play ball up the middle. Neto is so good. He steps on second for one. Over to first two, double play. However, Jaron Duran... Yatsu to center field and going to the bottom of the eighth. It's Red Sox seven, Angels six on the Shaws and Star Market WEI Red Sox Network. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh oh, better get Mako. Hey, it's Fitzy from Six Rings and Football Things. It's not just a podcast, it's the 25th hour of the day. Your weekly source for all things New England Patriots, right on time. Your time. In the car? Navigate the streets of the NFL offseason with wisdom in your ear. We accompany every errand you need to run. Washing the windows or vacuuming the carpets? Don't just clean, conquer. Podcasts make you more productive because we fit perfectly into your schedule. Follow Six Rings and Football Things in the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Join Blue Buffalo and Best Friends Animal Society in helping shelter pets find forever homes. When you buy select bags of Blue Tastefuls and Blue Life Protection Formula at Walmart, Blue will make a donation to Best Friends. Purchase Blue Buffalo at Walmart today. Blue Buffalo made 50 cents up to $275,000 to Best Friends Animal Society for every five pound bag of Blue Tastefuls dry cat food and Blue Life Protection Formula dry dog food purchased at Walmart from April 1st to May 30th, 2024. Introducing Exceed Siding by Versatex at Riverhead Building Supply. Exceed is a PVC lap siding with VZ drop lock for easy installation. Get the strength and durability of Versatex with the look of wood siding. Learn more at Riverhead Building Supply and rbscorp.com. Some people take the straight path in life. But at Arizona State University, we respect your twists and turns. They make our online students more driven to excel in their professional lives. That's why our personalized suite of services empowers you with innovative resources and staff that sticks with you. Make your next turn with one of our 300-plus programs at ASU, number one in innovation for nine consecutive years. Visit us at asuonline.asu.edu to learn more. Hi, this is Tristan Casas. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. Isaiah Campbell is up for the Red Sox on the mound as we go into the bottom of the eighth inning. Zach Neto is due up, and then Rendon and Shawnawell, the one lefty against really the right-handed lefty specialist for the Red Sox, who's just been absolutely phenomenal. Campbell, three appearances, just a couple hits. Here is Neto, who grounds one on the right side. To his right, the second baseman, Valdez, he's got it. He throws to first and on one pitch, one down in the eighth. We take 10 seconds for station ID. Shaws and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. From the WEI Studios, 93.7 WEI FM and HD1, Lawrence, Boston. Always live on the free Odyssey app. There's Anthony Rendon, 7-6 Red Sox in the eighth. Isaiah Campbell throws. Rendon takes a fastball outside for ball one, hoping Campbell can retire the side here and keep the Sox ahead going to the ninth. Tie the side brought to you by Azek Exteriors. One another pitch. That's low and outside. Sweeper, a ball, and it's 2-0. Featuring new Azek bevel and shake siding engineered to deliver classic beauty, but without all the maintenance. Visit Azek Exteriors.com. 2-0. People are not happy with Anthony Rendon. In case you were wondering, here's the 2-0. Chop toward third, right at Devers. He backhands. Crow hops. Throws to first in time, and they're two down. Isaiah Campbell, what a weapon he's becoming for these Red Sox. Very quickly, two down. 
You know, I thought there were some reasonable questions when camp broke. Why aren't there more lefties in the big league bullpen other than Joely Rodriguez? It's because Isaiah Camp is every bit as good against left-handed hitters as he is righties. Including this man, Nolan Shonawell. Two down bases empty. Here's the pitch. That's a strike. Didn't have to be. Sweeper, but called one. <laughs> the most vocal umpire in the stands is not happy with Alex Tosi. However, it's 0-1. Here's the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Off Campbell's glove. Pablo plays the carom. Throws to first in time. And the inning is over. What a play by Reyes on for Story and Isaiah Campbell. What was that? Six pitches to retire the side. On to the ninth we go. 7-6 Red Sox on the Shaws and Star Market. WEEI Red Sox Network. Ew. Gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. When you're high, you feel different. You think different, you talk different, you draw different, you listen to music different, but you probably knew that. Problem is, you also drive different, and not in a good way. That's why driving high is illegal everywhere. So if you're high, just don't drive. Make a plan to get a sober ride. Because if you feel different, you drive different. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Sox fans, the boys of summer are back, and the future is here. Casas absolutely obliterated that ball. Jared Duran leading off for the home run. With the free Odyssey app, you can catch every Devers blast with Hall of Fame Joe on the call. Up another opposite field home run for Rafi Devers. Your soundtrack to summer is on Boston Sports Original with every Sox game live on the Odyssey app with WEEI. Download it today. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Live games available for fans in market only. More Boston sports opinion, more often. Just download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. Masataka Yoshida with his agent Scott Boris looking on. Leads off the top of the ninth, and he takes the first pitch. Fastball for a strike from Jose Soriano. And it's 0-1. Masa in this game, 1-4. 1-4 with a base hit in the third, the 0-1. Tried to stop his swing, did he? Yes. A curveball laid off. And the loudest, angriest fan in the ballpark did not like the call. It's one and one. Do you think he's a season ticket holder or is he <laughs> letting it eat tonight, one night all season? It's an opening day. The one one. Chopper on the right side. The first baseman, Shamuel, has hit and he takes it to the bag. Uh, rollover for Yoshida. And there's one down. Shawnawell. 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 I'm creating things here. I think you've nailed it every time. I'm just going to call him the Angels' first baseman yeah. from now on. Here's Tyler O'Neill. We hit homer for the other Tyler here tonight. His first time in the second. 7 6 Sox as O'Neill takes a painted fastball in the outside corner. Strike one. Soriano he is ready to pitch. Inside almost hit him again. Plunked his last time. Scored on the sack fly from Valdez. Stay tuned after the game for the Nissan post game show. You deserve a car that thrills you. And Nissan's got an exciting full line that'll put goosebumps on your goosebumps. Because Tyler O'Neill, who feels sort of incapable of having goosebumps, takes the ball outside. It's two and one. Shop your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Two one low. Three and one. This is the thing, Tyler, that's been so impressive about the other Tyler is that while he's got power, he's delivered, he also has shown a real eye for the zone, has been totally patient. Gets himself into another hitter's count. Three one. High drive into left field. It's way back. It's toward the wall. Out of here. Tyler O'Neill does it again. His second homer of the game. And it is eight six. Red Sox. 
This thing leaves the yard in four seconds, and it gets the dugout going just like the Duran home run. Man, did they need big swings like this to help pad the lead and just get the vibes back late in the game. This is a 97-mile-an-hour sinker, middle in, and O'Neal. Two-homer game, four for the year. You've been detailing it all night. There are very few holes in this guy's game. Here's Tristan Casas, who takes a fastball high and outside for ball one. That is such a big run. Big swing. By the way, Kenley Jansen is up and warming in the Red Sox bullpen. He will have at least a two-run lead to work with. Tyler O'Neill is loved by his teammates already as Casas takes a pitch outside. It's 2-0. Oh. May just went down the line. Everybody laughing with him. 2-0 to Tristan. Line drive into left field, but it's hit so hard it'll hang up for Ward. He's there to make the play. Two down. Tristan and Tyler. God, what a combo tonight. They are both so locked in. They're two down, and here comes N. Manuel Valdez. And you told me before the game, watch Tyler O'Neill take batting practice. It's awfully impressive. You're right, but the show he's putting on in this game is even better. Yeah, a little bit more meaningful. Here's Valdez. He takes a pitch outside ball one. He is such a pleasant guy. I mean, I think from afar you see the body type, and you don't quite get it, the pitch to Valdez. He is outside ball two. I, I mean, look, he learned the Cardinal way, which is kind of known the game over, and it's a real thing. He's a true pro. 2-0. Hard on the ground to the right side. The second baseman, Drury, has it. After a couple steps, he throws to first, inning over. But O'Neill, I mean, he's a true pro, and he is doing it all for the Red Sox early. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Kenley trying to close it down. 8-6 Boston on the Shaws and Star Market. WEI Red Sox Network. Introducing Exceed Siding by Versatex at Riverhead Building Supply. Exceed is a PVC lap siding with VZ drop lock for easy installation. Get the strength and durability of Versatex with the look of wood siding. Learn more at Riverhead Building Supply and rbscorp.com. What's that sound? That's the sound of Downy Unstoppable scent beads going into your washing machine and giving your clothes freshness that lasts all day long. There it is again. It's like music to your ears, or more like music to your nose. That freshness is irresistible. Let's get a Downy Unstoppable bottle shake. And now a sniff solo. Nice. Get six times longer lasting freshness plus odor protection with Downy Unstoppable's in-wash scent beads. At Arizona State University, we offer a wide variety of degree programs online to match all kinds of interests and career aspirations. Programs that are taught by the same notable faculty who teach on campus and designed using innovative technology to improve learning outcomes and equip you for post-graduation success. That's why 87% of ASU online graduates indicated they were promoted at work or received an increase in salary after earning their degree. Find your program at asuonline.asu.edu. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this? Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. Take Boston sports with you wherever you go. Download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. Here we go into the ninth inning. Red Sox lead the Angels here in Anaheim, 8-6. to six, And Kenley Jansen is on. Cross down from where he became a star in this sport. And he'll see a surefire Hall of Famer in Mike Trout to lead it off. Then Taylor Ward. And Brandon Drury as we go to the ninth inning. Kenley, fourth appearance, two for two in save chances. The pitch he is inside of the cutter. And that is ball one. He's tied all time, sixth most saves with Billy Wagner. One more. He'll occupy that spot all alone. And a big right-hander on trying to lock this thing down. The 1-0. That's a beauty. Cutter on the outside corner. And it's one and one. He's seen Trout ten times. Mike has one hit against him. He's struck out eight times, but he does have a home run. So feast or famine 
for Trout, one and one. High with a fastball. Cutter. And it's two and one. Alex Gora continues to say that even though the velocity is down for Kenley, the action on his cutter is back to levels not seen for three, four years. Two and one to Trout, the pitch. That's a strike on the outside corner. Cutter, 89, so velocity's still down, but perfectly placed, and it's two and two. Yeah, it's down quite a bit. I mean, last year he's averaging 94 with that cut fastball, but if it gets the job done, they're fine. Two and two. Claim to pull on the infield, the pitch. Foul back, took a mighty rip at a 90 mile an hour cutter. It stays two and two. I mean, it must be moving a ton if you're throwing it five times in a row at 89.90 to Mike Trout himself, and he hasn't made you pay yet. These kinds of spots. Where Kenley is most comfortable. Two balls, two strikes in the ninth. Eight six socks the pitch. High fly down the right field line toward the chalk. In on it comes Tyler O'Neill. It stays fair. Tyler's there to make the play. One Hall of Fame bullet dodged, and there's one away. Reached back for 92 there, kind of like he did at the end of the outing in Oakland on Wednesday. You're right, he got the job done, attacked him with six straight cutters, and, I mean, that's been the steady diet all year for Kenley. Story of his career. Here's Taylor Ward, right-handed hitter, 8-6 Boston in the bottom of the ninth. Kenley delivers. And a fastball on the inside corner. Cutter perfectly placed. And it's 0-1. As ever, the shimmy of the hips from Kenley. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. He elevated that one. 91 at the very top of the zone. And it's 0-2. Red Sox trying to open this series in Anaheim. With a win, they lead by two. The 0-2 low. Cut fastball beneath the zone, and it's a ball and two strikes. One, two. High fly foul on the first base side. Talking to Kenley the last couple days, he's totally unconcerned by the Lack of zip on the cut fastball. Essentially, this is, for him, like week four of spring training. One out, base is empty. 8-6, Red Sox the 1-2. Swing and a foul, and McGuire just loses the grip on it. 1-2, the Red Sox tonight have lost Trevor's story to an injury. Diving to his right on a little hopper in the hole. They've had homers from Casas McGuire and two from Tyler O'Neill. Turan go ahead shot the one two. Swinging a liner to first. Leaping grab by Casas and they're two away. Perfectly positioned. And Kenley is one out away. Call this one a, a soft ish liner, but you see a lot of these find their way through the right side. Nice job by Casas. Comes off the bat at 75, but you got the big fella over there. Tough to hit one too tall for him. Here's Brandon Drury, who's been on base three times tonight. The last hope for the Angels. Kenley throws. Drury takes a strike. He's got it going right now, does Kenley? Cutter at 91, and it's 0 and 1. Drury in his career, one for eight with a couple strikeouts against Jansen. On one. Kenley throws. That is a little bit low. Slider. That missed, and it's one and one. It's been a back and forth game tied in a grand slam by Logan Ohapi, but. Huge pitches made late in this game. A big swing from Duran. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Cutter. And it's 1-2. and two. Red Sox a strike away. Winning the opener here in Anaheim. And Drury steps out and calls time. And some of the many Red Sox fans here on the first base side rise to their feet. Canley nods yes to McGuire. 1-2. and two. two down in the ninth. Here's the pitch. 
swing and a foul back to the screen. Curry just barely staying alive. Everybody on the railing in the first base side. Looking intently on is Kenley. Comes set. Here's the one-two. Outside. High cutter. And it's two balls and two strikes. Red Sox had a four-run, three-homer inning in the second. Saw the game tied on the Ohapi Grand Slam, but then Duran put him ahead on two separate occasions. Here's the two-two. Swing and a miss. He got him a cutter on the outside corner. Ball game over, and the Red Sox win the opener in Anaheim, eight to six. O'Neill goes deep twice. Casas and McGuire and Duran join him, and the Red Sox will hold their breath and hope that this is not the biggest Pyrrhic victory of the season on a night that Trevor Story departs because of an injury to his left shoulder. Jansen gets the save. He's got the sixth most all-time in baseball history, and they just got enough big swings Tyler Murray to win the opener and go six and two to start the season you're right it was the offense a four game winning streak that really was backed by pitching and defense he didn't get a whole lot of that here tonight but you win your fifth in a row because more than anything you're relentless in the final four innings they get exactly one run in the sixth seventh eighth and ninth to fend off any comeback from the Angels and uh you're right, the headliner is Story, but you, you feel good for these guys in the very short term to be able to get a win and a feel-good moment after uh, what was really, frankly, a depressing atmosphere for this team in the fourth when Story tried to make a diving play on a Mike Trout ground ball. So hopefully you get good news. Hopefully Story is back soon, but five wins in a row. The Chicago Cubs and the Boston Red Sox each had the longest win streaks in baseball right now. Uh, we're hoping to check in with Tyler O'Neill down, down in the Red Sox dugout as the Red Sox get a series opening win here, 8-6, to six, and he was just a huge part of it. Two home runs, and uh, just become such a dynamic player for these Boston Red Sox as uh, Kenley Jansen locks it down. Cutter Crawford started the game. The bullpen really was outstanding. They, they didn't overcome some misplays defensively behind them, but overall the Red Sox just absolutely get the job done. And uh, Tyler O'Neill is trying to get hooked up with us down in the dugout. What do we think? You can't hear anything down there? Is there an on-off button in the dugout? Well, we hope that we can chat with uh, Tyler O'Neill. But uh, perhaps we've had a technical failure down in the dugout, so that's okay. The Red Sox win at 8-6. We'll step aside, come back with more on the Shaws and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. Sox fans, the boys of summer are back, and the future is here. Casas absolutely obliterated that ball. Jared Duran leading off for the home run. With the free Odyssey app, you can catch every Devers blast with Hall of Fame Joe on the call. Up another opposite field home run for Rafi Devers. Your soundtrack to summer is on Boston Sports Original with every Sox game live on the Odyssey app with WEEI. Download it today. A-U-D-A-C-Y. Live games available for fans in market only. Baseball isn't boring. Let's welcome in Red Sox pitcher Tanner Houck. I think we're at like pretty close to like max like what the human body can do. Like I don't know how much more we can really get out of out of the human body in terms of baseball pitching wise. But now I think you're gonna see you know people throwing sliders at 20 horizontal at like 88. MLB the show type stuff. Baseball isn't boring. Available on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcast. Cup Noodles new paper cup is now microwavable. Wait, wasn't it always microwavable? Now easier. Now faster. Now microwavable. Is that even a word? The original Cup Noodles noodles. The same great taste you love. I do love them. Ready in only 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Like that. In a cup made from 40% recycled paper. All right. Look for the Cup Noodles paper cup in stores now. They're microwavable. Hi, I'm James Pratt from Basement Technologies. 
Find out how fast and inexpensive it is to keep your basement dry for good. Don't let rain cause damage to your home. Call 1-800-BUSY-DOG or visit 1-800-BUSY-DOG.com and keep your basement dry for good. This is the Nissan Post Game Show. At Nissan, we make cars that thrill. Experience the thrill for yourself. Shop NissanUSA.com. Back yet, the Big A as the Red Sox win the opener here in Anaheim. They've won five straight games. They beat the Angels 8-6. to six. They are now 6-2. and two. Tyler Murray to start this regular season as we welcome you into the Nissan postgame show. And uh, look, I mean, this game had a lot of good. We all hold our breath hoping that Trevor's story is okay because if he is lost for a significant time, that will be the biggest headline of this game. But, but. This team continues to fight. They battled tonight. They saw the game tied on the Grand Slam. They got one big hit after another from Jaron Duran. Puts them ahead once. The game is tied again. And then a shot to center field to seal the game for good. Tyler O'Neill, a little insurance for good measure. And, uh, you know, again, you hope for the best with story, but overall this was a really resilient win. Yeah, I think we're going to keep learning about this team as this weekend goes along, and certainly with home opening weekend against the Orioles, that's a big measuring stick. But good teams do, I think, two things. They take care of business against teams they're supposed to beat, and they've done that now for five consecutive yeah. games, and they find different ways to win. I'll go back to Tuesday against Oakland. That was great defensive plays and a managerial masterclass by Alex Cora using all every position player, five different relievers, two double switches. So they're winning on the margins, but today... I mean, they just pound out four home runs, doubling their season total. Uh, they overcome uh, their dominant bullpen, who went 17 innings scoreless, giving up five runs today, although none of the four on the Grand Slam by Ohapi were earned. So, yes, pitching and defense are better this year, but it's certainly not the only way that this team can win ball games, and they're going to win a lot of them this year. No question, especially if Jaron Duran is anything close to the player that he was tonight. Because, look, I, so many people have thought for a long time that, you know, Jaron Duran would be an attractive piece to move for his starting pitcher, and a lot of teams have asked about Jaron Duran's availability up and down at times, but my God, Tyler, like, this is the guy who really, when you think about it, for three months last year, carried this offense, was so dynamic and tremendous before that flukish toe injury that cost him the end of the season. I mean, it's hard to say this because O'Neal hit two home runs, Casas and McGuire are awesome in the game, but he was the best player on the field tonight, and that field had Mike Trout. You, you can tell me that home run in the eighth inning was the biggest swing of the season so far. I wouldn't fight back too hard on that, but there were a lot of ifs coming into the season, and a lot of it had to do with the starting rotation, and so far, everybody has lived up to what feels like a hopefully high ceiling, but if you get Jaron Duran playing like this for the majority of the season, that is a major X factor for this offense, not just setting the table, not just, you know, four for four with four singles on Wednesday, but that home run pop we know he's capable of but hasn't shown until today. That's huge. And don't forget, he had the single in the sixth inning that extended the lead to 5-1 at the time. Without that, it's a go-ahead grand slam by Logan Ohapi. So it's timely hitting, it's setting the table, and it's really feeding into just the aggressive, prove-people-wrong nature of the 2024 Red Sox. Pretty impressive stuff from him and really from the whole ball club. You deserve a car that thrills you, and Nissan's got an exciting full line that'll put goosebumps on your goosebumps. Shop your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. So now we've sung Duran's praises. It's time to turn our attention to Tyler O'Neill, who, I mean, this guy is doing things that when Craig Breslow brought him over here, in a pretty minor transaction, all things considered, based on what they gave up. You were hoping that you'd get him healthy and you'd get the production that he gave three seasons ago when he played a full year. And all of it so far has just been better even than you could have ever dreamt. He has proven so far that he is a true five-tool player. And you talk about a few seasons ago, he was getting National League MVP votes uh, the defensive run saved. He had 34 home runs, OPS over 900. He's a two-time gold glove winner. And you notice today how sharp he seems to be in terms of base running decisions, able to tag up on a 50-50 ball, which 
you know, not a lot of people I, I'm sure would have considered. Great diving effort in right field while, while blowing a bubble of gum, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, there's very little that Tyler O'Neill cannot do. And, you know, we'll, obviously things are going to shuffle around without uh, your shortstop and three hitter uh, available for uh, at least the short term, you would imagine. But, I mean, having Yoshida, O'Neill, and Casas seem to work out really well today. So Alex Cora continues pushing the right buttons, but it's a little easier to do when you have what feels like a jack-of-all-trades with Tyler O'Neill. What do you think? Big League's sort of fun? Yeah, I would like to stay for the weekend. <laughs> um, you've been such a great host, so uh, hopefully fewer injury concerns tomorrow. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, I was told there's nothing like it, and... Uh, I cannot disagree. Thank you so much. Our pleasure. We will continue in the Nissan postgame show. Trevor's story, that's the big X factor in this game. Is he okay? Can he come back soon? We'll find out soon enough. But the Red Sox, I think, deserve a lot of credit for overcoming an understandable sort of period of emotional indifference after one of their real leaders was left in this ballgame. 8-6, to six, the final score will continue with the Nissan Post Game Show. Sox win the opener in Anaheim. More after this on the Shaw's and Star Market WEI Red Sox Network. Hey everyone, this is Brett Boone. Would you know it? I've got a podcast going strong in our fourth year. Tune in as I sit down with my friends, some of the biggest names in sports, media, entertainment, for a lot of fun and in-depth conversations. As you know, baseball's been my life. It's been in the family for a long time, but it's a lot more than that here. It's sort of like taking a ride in a golf cart around a beautiful track. Join me every week for multiple episodes on the Brett Boone Podcast, available on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Embrace your outdoor space with a new low-maintenance TimberTech deck from Riverhead Building Supply. Get creative with different styles of railing, accent colors, deck lighting, and more. Find TimberTech decking at all Riverhead Building Supply locations and online at rbscorp.com. Ortho RI Express offers same-day injury care by orthopedic specialists you won't find at an urgent care or walk-in clinic. Just call 401-777-7000, option 1, or visit orthopedicsri.com slash express. Hey, it's Fitzy from Six Rings and Football Things. It's not just a podcast, it's the 25th hour of the day. Your weekly source for all the Patriots, right on time. Your time. In the car, navigate the streets of the NFL offseason with wisdom in your ear. We accompany every errand you need to run. Washing the windows or vacuuming the carpets? Don't just clean, conquer. Podcasts make you more productive because we fit perfectly into your schedule. Follow Six Rings and Football Things in the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Embrace your outdoor space with a new Timber Tech deck. Try low maintenance Timber Tech decking from Riverhead Building Supply. Get creative with colors and decking textures. Add accent colors, different styles of railing, deck lighting, and more. Use Timber Tech's online design tool from the comfort of your home. Then visit us to make your final selections. Find Timber Tech decking at all Riverhead Building Supply locations and online at rbscorp.com. Want to listen to WEEI on the go? Just download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. 8-6, to six, the Red Sox beat the L.A. Angels. You're listening to the Nissan Post Game Show at uh, Nissan. we got a car that thrills you. 